Greetings, Commanders! And welcome to the Galactic Battle Season 8 Grand Finals! We're 20, we're 31 minutes late. We've been live streaming for like 38 minutes. We did the five minute pregame show. I thought it was real strange that chat wasn't working. Everything said it was working. And then I started reading chat and Mr. Mike and people were going, someone needs to text him and let him know. And I said, what, what are they talking about? What are you guys talking about? I had all these stories and plans talking about all the battles, the rosters, the, the game changes. And I realized, oh yeah, I got to interact with chat guys. What's going on? And all of a sudden, I realized that YouTube Studio Beta Live now has a new stream key. So my entire stream got lost to the nether for the first half hour of the Galactic Battle Finals. So that's what happens. That's exactly what happens when the developers of the game decide to, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, change the Galactic Battle Finals time from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. Yeah, they just moved it up 12 hours early. We found this out Monday. Of course, I don't get paid to do this. I have a job, I have a family. Getting up at 4.30 in the morning and doing this for free <laughs> does not fit into my schedule. Not to mention the two biggest players in the game uh, on both sides, TB and Odad, they're Americans. They don't want to get up at 5 a.m. in the morning, but listen, all right? I'm all about low expectations with our developers. You know, we should have seen this coming. And uh, I'm sorry that we all suffered that uh, th this, this, this live stream got delayed. And uh, everything I just said for a half hour was just a warm up. So let's do it all again. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm so glad you can make it. Today is a monumental day in our game. With the server migration patch now fully enabled, it is allowing the biggest players from around the world to get into the finals, even if it's not their home guild. And it's Galactic Battle 8. The tribalism of your home guild making it to the finals is kind of, it's been lost. It's been lost and jaded by the fact that people have spent hundreds of thousands. In fact, I have a roster. I have a new Tale of the Tape that shows you what exactly or who exactly is playing in this matchup. And if anyone's watched these this channel and my episodes of ARCs, the top 15 players are all over 400 million power, meaning that none of these players have spent less than $200,000, as much as most people's houses east of California. And that's the top 15 of both guilds. Not to mention, there are probably 60 to 80 T12 players, meaning all of them, every single person of their guild, has spent over twenty to $30,000 minimum Ginjo over the last couple of years. Two euros through Super Chat. Damn there you, you Ginjo, you're ruining my intro. <sighs> okay, uh, thank you. Uh, it's a massive roster. It's a massive lineup. It's a cataclysmic head-on collision of the biggest spenders and players in our game and i think it's honestly a pretty fair matchup i'm actually i've been thinking about this a lot and if you look at this lineup odad bingo six six shunlong okay yeah those four guys are bigger than anyone in cad but it doesn't change the fact that cad has a lineup of 10 commanders plus with 1.7 million leadership max t12 armies with 35 plus gear it doesn't matter if they have 50 of those commanders or 10 of them. The fact is, they put that in a stronghold, and you're not going to clear it with 10 commanders. It's going to take time. Uh, a lot of time. And that's why I think the whole uh, the whole meta has shifted to, in this particular game style, the offensive meta. The Galactic Battle is no longer 12 hours. It is 6 hours. Taking a stronghold on the left or right-hand side does not take an hour. It takes a half of an hour. Taking a, full ba a main base doesn't take 2 hours. It takes 1 hour. Well... Every time you plant an army, it takes 10 seconds to remove that army. And with 80 players, all of them well experienced in the Galactic Battle and with Tier 12, anytime they plant a serious army, it needs to be removed correctly. Even a 600,000 leadership Rogers can get or can hold off max leadership Vega, right? You still have to have a Full Metal or a Reinhardt to clear that Rogers. Uh, so it's a, it's a massive lineup. Absolutely massive. Massive. Now, I'm having one issue here. It looks like uh, it looks like the Streamlabs is not picking up chat in the live stream feed, so I might have to check on YouTube. 
Oh, geez. I'm going to have to look this way to catch up with chat. Well, we're just going to have to roll with these technical difficulties. Thank you so much, YouTube, for unnecessarily changing your whole streaming system without notifying any of your creators that stream every week. You'd think they'd email us and be like, hey, you guys need to change your stream key. And also, uh, we're working with Streamlabs to update uh, exactly how you guys stream. Because no matter what they say, 90% of people that upload to YouTube use Streamlabs. So it's like, okay. Okay, let's not get salty. Let's not get salty. Uh, let's see. There's a couple things I need to do. It looks like YouTube's system is getting smarter. So that's nice. It's telling me my bit rate needs to be a bit higher. So let's see if we can change that to... Oh, we can't. No, I can't do it live. Oh, well, that's live. Uh, all right, so let's talk about where we're at. Um, CAD is going to be our green team. FBI is going to be our red team. Of course, the roster is backwards in that regard. Yeah, way to go. You know, it was a 50-50 guess. I guessed wrong. What are you going to do? Uh, the winner gets not only the amazing rewards, they get this belt. I haven't been talking about this belt all week. I keep forgetting to put it in the videos. But we had... A championship belt made. The patrons, the community. I went out and had this thing commissioned. We even have a video for it. Maybe I'll put that video up. Uh, but leather belt. Laser etched, laser engraved. The winner gets this belt. And as exciting as that is for me to present this belt. Which it is exciting for me to present this belt. I don't know. It's like a childhood dream to like have a stupid oversized belt. But the fact is, is the winner of today's match... Odad would be in Texas and sometimes comes to California. I would present him with this belt and hopefully an interview in an episode of ARCs. Or if CAD wins, I would present them, TB, their leader, this belt and an episode of ARCs and an interview. And they're in California. They're accessible. I don't have to fly to Taiwan or something. So, uh, yeah, guys, let's make that happen. Live interview. Best episode of ARCs ever. Uh, okay. Uh, Max saying, Melt, have you checked out the new pants? I will talk about the new pants in a bit. Yeah, they're amazing. Uh, probably want to grab those because the Nidhogg needs to be uh, built soon. You're, the new ship's going to be coming soon. You're probably going to need one of those two new items. Uh, but all right, let's talk about the matchup here. We were expecting offense. We keep tripping ourselves up. Listen, guys, it's 5 a.m. All right, it's 5 a.m. We're doing the best we can. Uh, we've got CAD on the bottom, kind of holding it down. I really, I really expected the guilds to... I expect them to play offense a little more balls to the walls. Yes, they want to be the defender, but I also think that this matchup really does favor the offensive play, which is backwards. But I guess also with the amount of sheer firepower on both sides, maybe you do play it like a standard old game. Let's check our score real quick, see how far far off we are. 239 million... 1, 8, 7, no, 23 billion to 24 billion. Is that right? Oh my gosh. What a mess. What an absolute mess. Yeah, 20 we need commas, boys. 24 billion CAD does have the lead now, which means FBI should be on the offense, so the guild on top should be coming down um to score points cuz uh usually you give up points on the offense. Uh, and if you're already behind in points, you need to go make those points up. But the main thing is, is look at the uh, attack ship. So that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a lot of gold jumping. We're making sure players that are here collecting residual points are actually here, which doesn't really matter because we're into the billions now. Residual points can be, you know, we can ignore them. Um, I'm interested that there are so many ships gold jumping. You know, look at FBI's lineup here. I mean, I, the crazy part is, is there's so many Asian names. I, I even though I have a roster, I, I can't look at all these and check them. I'm looking for the English names. So there's K E A or Kia. He's an actual uh, member of my guild. Uh, Win, and then it, there's just so much going on. Uh, this is like a, an anchor hope. That's that's anchor. The anchor symbol is typically aligned with a member named Hope, but that's not him. The the strange part is, look how small the power is on this guy. What is he doing jumping? Do I have it backwards? Is the Red Guild... No, that can't be. I was thinking maybe so many CAD members were jumping, they cleared off the whole of FBI. But no, it's definitely green on the bottom, red on top. And CAD is doing their fair share of gold jumping. Looks like Anubis is burning. Beautiful. Uh, well done. 
Yes, Cad is on the right here. Looks like they've cleared a path. Are they going to go straight for the stronghold? CAD does have the point lead, but you got to remember they have to they have to defend themselves if they're going to reveal the main base. So the main strategy at this point is you take the watchtower right here, which gives you vision of the actual stronghold, right? And then once you have the stronghold, that gives you vision of the base. Now, if you've never seen what this match looks like without ships on it, uh, it can be a bit confusing trying to figure out from here. All right. Oh my goodness. It sucks having to read the stream on this side. This is not good. This makes it twist my head around. This is not good. Let's see if this is working. No. I really wanted that viewer count. Looks like that's broken too. Way to go, YouTube. Way to go, YouTube. Oh my God. Okay. Let's get caught up. Let's try to figure out what's going on here. It is it is a bit overwhelming to look at all of this and figure it all out. Okay. It looks like CAD is sending to the main stronghold. But the, the question is, is why? Uh, you should always take the small bases first. Because it's almost like they're... Well, at first, they take half as much time. Uh, that's weird. He didn't send a full march. It's half as much time to take them, but also it kind of demoralizes your opponent. If they know they can't hold you or kick you out in the 30 minute battle, there's no way they're going to, or the, yeah, there's no way they're going to kick you out in the one hour long battle. Or, I mean, they, they get more time, but it's almost like they see what they're up against, they know what they're up against. It's easier to just go for the short battle, and you can almost like secure the win that way. Now, of course, this is the Galactic Battle 8 Finals, and all these guys have been down this road before. They've been in stalemates. They've been in Elf, Rogers, Vega, Gilly, uh, Reinhardt fights for hours and hours on end. They're sick of it, I'm sure, but they know that they know the drill. So maybe by going for the Stronghold, they're kind of forcing out bigger marches, or maybe there's so many max players, so many massive players, they kind of don't have that much of a strategy. It's kind of like just play smart. We can't micromanage 80 people. Uh, but one thing's for sure, FBI and CAD both realize the best way to score points is to gold jump and shake your opponents off their core. And FBI is doing a great job of clearing this hole here. Uh, CAD has basically abandoned the right-hand side. I was wondering if they would build like a blockade, you know, actually build a wall and like make it so that people can't jump over. But no, they kind of just got relegated and pushed to a side, uh, but they didn't officially set up a line or anything. I mean, maybe that's just too much organization. There's too many more important things going on. There's TB hanging out. What's up, TB? Um, what's weird is, what is this guy doing? Is he just a spotter ship? Oh, no, he's big. 127 million power. He's big. Not that big, though. <laughs> Not in this game. Not in 127 million ain't that big in this game. Uh... Let's see if I can make a copy of this. I have an idea. Okay. Man, I want to say thanks to everyone who got up this morning to watch the live stream and the finals together. It really sucks that it's at 5 in the morning. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know, it's like that's... Of all the things we do to play this game, this is one of those things where you go, uh, getting up at 5 a.m. is a bit much. I don't know about that. But we're here. We did it. Now, can I detach this chat group? Will you stop? Oh, my God. This window. This window is not working with me, folks. Are you really not going to let me scroll left? Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, Windows, for not letting me scroll. This new Windows, this new YouTube... Uh, Thing. They, they want it to be so sexy and like, you know, they want it to have such aesthetics that it's just undeniable. But frankly, it's just, it's really hard to use. And it's, uh, it's, it's really not for the, the content creator. It's, it's very much against the content creator. And uh, I'm just going to have to make this work, I guess. And I'll just have to go with it until they figure out the chat box stream. Ay, ay, ay. Ay. Flat saying, which guild will win? Um, well, considering that the matchup right now is a bit of chaos and no one's truly committed to any stronghold, 
Um, I would guess that CAD it would win. I know that sounds crazy because ODAD and FBI are the bigger guild, slightly bigger guild. But CAD has been together longer, slightly longer, even if it's only a week. But they're more familiar with each other. And after playing CAD last week, I had a very strong understanding that they know what they're doing. They know how to beat a guild that's bigger than them, even though they're a super massive guild. So one of the things in the past that we've noticed is um, it used to be whoever has the biggest boss wins and they plant their commander and that's the game. No one can clear them and and that's how the finals goes. That's how Sabet won in, in Season 1. Uh, that's how... I forget who won Season 2 and 3. But it's basically two or three guys, usually one or two guys, really, that have just massive leadership comms and gears. And they get into a battle, and, they, and the person coming up against them is like, I'm big too, but I'm not as big as you. You're twice as big, and that's just the game. You know, you walk away. Big fish eats little fish. This is not that matchup. This is big fish fight big fish in a giant 50... For, 50 no, it's 80 fish versus 80 fish brawl. You know, it's like uh, we used to see one big fish try to fight one big fish with a bunch of little fish watching. But in this matchup, it's it literally is like 80 big fish on one side, 80 big fish on the other side. And we're looking down in the water and there's just a bunch of fish scales and blood and just it's a torrent of water and ripples and waves because it's one guy can't dictate the entire battle. No matter how big Odad and FBI, is, no matter how big Odad and his gear and his comms are. There's a counter to everything now, and it's pretty well structured and laid out. And yes, there's new defensive meta or, or penetration meta. Yes, there's new tier 12 troops, but it doesn't change the, the general gameplay. Everyone knows how to clear a Rogers with full metal. Everyone knows how to kill a full metal with a Vega or a Gilly. And everyone knows how to stop a Gilly or Vega with an Alpha Rogers. And everyone knows how to stop an Alpha Rogers with a Reinhardt or full metal. And then now we're back in this circle again. So, you know, that, that that's pretty well settled. So who's going to win? I got my money on CAD if I had to put money on it, even though I think they're the underdog. I think uh, because of the nature of this battle and this matchup, I think they just it favors their style. Um, but, you know, if it was an arm wrestling competition, their biggest guy versus our biggest guy, I think FBI would win, you know. But uh, I guess it's time to point out that I have made a mistake. It is now 48 minutes into the battle. CAD is attacking the stronghold... And I'm an idiot because I didn't realize that whole time CAD had successfully taken the left side base. This stronghold has already been destroyed. It must have just been destroyed. That is absolutely crazy. CAD has drawn first blood by taking the game to FBI, not playing defensively, which that's what I was saying is you don't want to play defensive in this matchup. When you have this many max leadership comms, you send all your max leaderships to their base and say, you clear me. No, you clear me. You know, put the burden on them. And uh, you think like, well, no, the burden's on the person trying to load the stronghold. It is. But once you're in there and you have people all over the matchup, they can't just gold jump around and clear the one guy that's that's in the, in the stronghold. There's 10 of them. And if they do gold jump and hit somebody and make him pop his commander out, he'll just resend as long as he keeps vision. Um, and there's a lot to that, right? There's a lot of, you need to keep vision. You need to keep someone down there. You need to have your opponents goal jumping. Uh, but that, that draws them away as well. And they need someone goal jumping that can actually hit somebody and clear them. Um, you know, there is no fort here. So you can't like protect everyone under a shield in the fort. Uh, so you have to defend yourself. And I think with five or 10 guys goal jumping around, uh, yeah, you're going to occasionally run into a garrison bigger than you, but CAD has already proven that their strategy is working. They have successfully taken the left-hand side. Uh, they've given themselves a lot of breathing room. FBI, at this point, FBI is on the back ropes, and players may start quitting when they realize that they have a huge way to go. If it was me, if it was me and I was in charge of this battle, I would immediately start telling my top 10 guys to start gold jumping and punish them. Start gold jumping and punish them. Uh, don't worry about clearing this base. Uh, looks like they already are holding it successfully. They're going to maintain that hold on it. But uh, not for long. If CAD has permanent vision of it, they can just keep sending as they like. They have complete map control. FBI needs to go after them. And FBI hits so hard. Their max players hit so hard 
that they could really start destroying some of these strips, uh, stips, uh, the ships. Now, the part of destroying them is more to demoralize them and to occasionally catch their big guys that only have one comm. So let's say you're a 300,000 million power. You don't have two max leadership comms and two max leadership army. You probably only have one and maybe a smaller Rogers or smaller full metal because of peak contest. Your main is off fighting in the main battle. So when someone comes to hit you, Unless an ally garrisons you, you need to garrison yourself. And if that person hitting you is sending their main, and they have a max leadership tier 12 comm, uh, you're going to get popped, and that's going to pull your main out of the main base. Or if you try to gold jump, that's going to pop you and pull your main out of the main base. Uh, so that would be my my you know that would be my uh, my coaching to FBI is get out there and start hitting them, hit them in their face, make them move. Don't let them just sit back. Yes, they have vision on you, but keep the pressure on scare them hit them with 1.7 million leadership comms massacre 5 million rangers at a time try to catch them three times in a row and massacre you know 15 million rangers real quick that'll scare them and hopefully that'll draw a few of them out of the battle and let your biggest players clear you know guys like odad and oh yeah oh i got my roster here okay my roster let's go there we go roster uh you know guys like odad bingos 66 they can gold jump to people and have a counter for anything in front of them they got a rogers they got a vega they got a full metal they're going to clear anything they need to uh while the rest of you guys can defend and set up smart you know attacks uh let those guys clear the way and those guys know to do that right fbi 66 no dad they this ain't their first rodeo they've been gold jumping clearing for a long time but they also feel that burden that they need to stay and defend so you can just see right here fbi's got they have a max leadership rogers in there but uh who's this who's this who's this Who's that? Uh, oh, God, these names. These names, boys. Shenlong? Okay, that's Shenlong's elf, maybe. Um, and then 66 is Gilly, followed by, I don't know who's Rogers that is. But that's a nasty lineup, right? Elf, followed by Gilly, followed by Rogers. So if they try to clear that elf with a Rogers uh, or a full metal, uh, Gilly will kill the full metal. Uh, the Rogers will kill the Elf and the Gilly. No full metal there, so uh, they just need a Rogers push there. Rogers would clear that capital. CAD, send a Rogers to the FBI main base. Oh, all right, all right. What was I saying? What was I saying? Um, wow. Okay, man. Keep an eye on chat. Sucks, man. This is hard to do. It's hard to do it now. Okay. Yeah. Creeper uh, King has just donated $2 through Super Chat. No, what do you think about the new event? Awesome. Thanks for the two bucks. Um, the new event. Well, I would jump in and go into depth on the new event, but I'll just say that I love the fact that the developers are giving us these new events that are constantly changing, right? We'd like to see a new event every one or two months. It's okay if they recycle old events, but I'm glad they're phasing out some of the old events, like the free commander events. Those things sucked, man. You get a free S Commander after doing all this work at the end of the week, and it's like, an S Commander's only worth 18,000 gold. And if it's your first S Commander, great. If it's your second or third S Commander, good. After it's your 600 or 800 S Commander, unless it's a new Commander, it's just going to be a waste. So I'm glad they phased that out on the older server. So uh, there is new gear, and I will be covering that new gear. Uh, I do think it's going to be important. I don't know if it's meta-defining gear, but I do think the new Nidhogg event that we had a month ago is going to become an actual ship, and I think it's going to require some of those new items. So grab those new items if you can. We're probably going to need them. Grab two if you can. Um, but I'll get into that. I've been kind of focusing on the Galactic Battle, the roster, the promos, and then uh, it's just been it's been a wild week, boys. It's been a wild week. Um, let's take a look at what's going on here. CAD kind of is on easy street right now. They came out hard. They forced FBI on the defense and FBI didn't respond by going on the offense. My original idea for this matchup to work, FBI needed to match offense with offense. And I just, I spent like 15 minutes talking about this in the first 15 minutes of this live stream, which wasn't broadcasted because of the new YouTube streaming platform keys. But Basically, it's 
Oh God, I don't even know if I talked about that. I don't even know if I talked about it. But basically, the bottom line is that the big fish, uh, the the big fish scenario, right? It's not one fish versus two versus a big one big fish versus another big fish. It's it's a ton of fish. It's a brawl, and because it takes so long to clear uh, the rock paper scissors matchup now, and you have so many people in your guild that have 1.7 million leadership tier 12 max armies or 30 plus gear. You can just stack a stronghold, and even if they gold jump and clear ten of you, if you get forty more guys in that stronghold, they've got to answer every single one of those. And one Rogers ain't gonna clear the entire stronghold. The one Rogers clears the one elf, and then the one elf gets cleared by the one Gilly, and the one Gilly or Gilly gets get cleared by the one Vega. The one Vega gets cleared by the one Rogers. The one Rogers gets cleared by the one Full Metal. So it's really like the benefit goes to the often the uh, the attacker and FBI. Being that I'm in their guild chat, uh, well, I'm not in their guild chat. Some of their members have joined their guild. I kind of talked about that strategy, but I don't have any illusions that I'm some grandmaster strategist when it comes to uh, the biggest game in Ark of War history. It is a different game. We are not talking about the traditional one, two, three big players. It is 80 big players versus 80 big players, and what does that look like? And I guess my gut instinct was like, well, probably need to go on the offense and just take advantage that the times the times are half as much as they used to be and all you need to do is take that base let me give you a better example the whole point of of getting an advantage in galactic battle the, the only the best way to get an advantage in the galactic battle is to take a stronghold it gives you vision it takes away your opponent's real estate when they have a max leader or a max guild and they have 82 members they need their entire half of the board when you take this stronghold like CAD has done, now anyone that has FBI on this side of the map is going to get um, hit and gold hit or gold sped and hit. So they basically FBI will be in CAD's vision because they took that side of the map. The vision is very important. So everyone on FBI has to hide out under this half of the map. And look at it. They're clustered, which is somewhat easier to defend their cluster, but at the cost of giving up half of the map they own. So now CAD has three uh, or three. Yeah, three-fourths of the map revealed, while FBI only has half the map revealed. Even though FBI lost that side, they still have vision of it. So if CAD goes over there, FBI can still hit them. But it's it's advantageous for CAD because they can hide their entire guild, while FBI cannot. Um, and it's a 30-minute commitment, right? That's that's what I want to get back to. It's a 30-minute commitment. If it was a 16-hour a, a commitment to take the stronghold, that's different because you can clear an army every 10 seconds. But it's 30 minutes. What if the commitment to take that stronghold and get 50% more visibility of your opponent's map was a three-minute commitment? If it was three minutes, just hold it for three minutes and we're good, everyone would do that. Everyone would open with, take the left stronghold, try to hold it for three minutes and get that vision and we'll start hitting them and clearing them. Really give our bigs a chance to zero them. But 30 minutes is kind of like, huh. It used to be an hour and that kind of dictated a different style of game. But now at a half hour we go, oh, these commanders are getting pretty big. And it's really hard to clear them. Half hour, we could probably do this. Let's go on the offense. Yes, we're going to lose points, but I think we can hold it. And that's what CAD did. It's, it makes a lot more sense if you say, oh, you only have to hold it for two minutes. It's like two minutes. We can hold it in two minutes. No problem. That's only 12 commanders. We have 12 max leadership comms with max armies. We'll hold that. No problem. But it's 30 minutes. So it's just kind of at that point. It's like it, it's a tipping point of like maybe it's worth going offense. Maybe it's worth going defense. In this case, it was clearly better to go offense. And uh, CAD now has that vision, and FBI is backpedaling. Uh, the question is, is, how hard do they want to go at this point? It looks like they are going hard, though. FBI is not slowing down. They're still gold jumping. You still see CAD burning all over the map, on their side of the map. And uh, pockets have been cleared out. In fact, if I had to guess, I would think that... I, I would think that FBI looks like they have more members. Is that possible? I know that a lot of people are trying to join FBI... Uh, last week they may have filled up but it looks like they actually have a few more members on the map yeah 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 alright alright I'm trying to get caught up with chat army's helping me out appreciate that man uh, let's see da, da, da. get caught up yeah alright so let's get back so Josh is saying, I don't know, uh, Mr. Captain STH, he breaks it down so perfectly. This is the content. Yeah, so that's that's the idea, right? Is try to try to take something massive. Try to take this massive, these massive accounts, these massive numbers, this massive battle, and, and try to quantify it down to something that people can understand and digest. And you go, okay, I, I'm starting to get this. 
And uh, you have to take into consideration a lot. I think a lot of people in the back of their mind look at this matchup and go, "Why? Why? Why are you even watching this? Who cares? Is there really any balance and strategy to this? How much of this is just like brute force and just a bunch of big guys throwing their dongs on the table and saying, "Look at mine." You know, it's well, it's it is a little bit of that. It's a little bit of bombastic, egotistical maniacism. I mean, it's these guys are maniacs. If you've ever been in a guild with a big spender, you wake up in the morning, you have fifty-eight guild mails because somebody spent, someone bought fifty-eight one hundred-dollar gold packs, and there's an entire guild of them on this server, on this on this battle, and then there's another guild of them on the other side. So yes, there's a bit of strategy, and it's absurd and it's ridiculous. And why are we watching it? I don't know, man. We play the game. We log in. We still play the game. We know what's going on. And it's it's a unique peer into the window of a, of a world that most people have no idea about. No one knows about pay-to-win games from Asia. They're still legal in the United States. I, I, I say that as much as I can because they're not going to be legal forever. This this is ridiculous. The amount of people that have spending issues and addiction habits or addiction hobbies and they like to blame other people for their spending eventually games like this are going to be banned outlawed limited or something the way they have it now is it's like free reign google play doesn't care they're making their merchant fee and they're just pouring money to all these developers which i'm okay with i'm an adult and our adult range is 25 to 45 if these guys want to spend a hundred thousand dollars on entertainment to help support a game i play go nuts thanks you know the developers appreciate it the players appreciate it the only people that really don't appreciate the amount of money people that players spend in this game is their spouses and that's why you never tell your spouse that you spend money on this game now i'm not advocating for lying i'm actually a big fan against lying do not lie i think life is way more interesting and if you're honest yes it comes with some bumps and bruises and life can be hard sometimes when the truth gets out but the life life is all about the truth and the hard times sometimes you got to go down those roads so don't lie to your spouses but don't go out of your way to tell them either if they don't ask don't bother you know because that's the only people that really hate the spending. Oh, and then the players that quit, you know, and then they start getting resentful because of all the money they spent, you know. But that's any game, you know. Any game you play that you spent money on, even if it was just a $10 cosmetic skin on League of Legends or Dota and you haven't played in six months, and you go, man, I wish I had my 10 bucks back. These guys, they're so far beyond the scope of spending in our game. They're, there's like this realm. Did I, do we have time to talk about that theory? Do we have time to talk about that theory? I think we got time to talk about that theory. I think it's a funny theory. So there's like, yeah, like maybe probably four major categories of spending in our game, but it kind of falls down to three types of spending. So there's the free to play players that don't really spend any money, or maybe they spend a dollar or five dollars a month, not not more than like sixty dollars a year, like very low spending. Which sixty dollars a year to some people might seem like a lot, but it's a mobile game. Some people play it, you know, twelve hours a day. Uh, then there's the other group of people that guys that have a little money, little expendable income. Uh, they have jobs. Most of the guys are in their 20s and 40s. Why am I getting disconnected here? Um, yeah, that's not good. Uh, so they, they spend you know anywhere between 20 to $100, sometimes $500 a month if they're going a little crazy, if they've had a few drinks, maybe they've been trying some new drugs out. Uh, and those are the group that make up the majority of the of the players, the guys that uh, spend you know 20 to $100 a month. And those are the ones that resent all the money they spend because it's not money they have. They're not... They're not in a position financially to throw down hundreds of thousands of dollars on a video game, uh, but they can they can you know rationalize spending a hundred dollars because you know that's just a bar tab on a Friday night that they decided to stay in and play their cell phone game instead, spend it with their friends online, whatever you want to call it. But after a year, or two years, and these guys are five to ten to fifteen thousand dollars into the game, they go, ah, I kind of would rather have that fifteen grand at this point. It's like yeah, you would. Don't get me wrong, I would too, right? Right, that hindsight's twenty twenty, and you forget about all the days and all the hours of entertainment you've got through the game. Uh, and then you know they would never even consider spending five thousand in an evening. But these guys, the guys in this guild, uh, these two guilds we're watching, they've all spent hundreds of thousands, not not ten thousands, mm, some of them twenty thousand, but no one less than twenty thousand. Anyone with the tier twelve account knows it's not less than twenty thousand dollars. So those are the ones that get mad. Anyone under the $20,000 limit. But everyone above it, it's just like, these guys, I knew one guy, one guy a couple years ago I was playing with, and he was a, he was an oil broker out of an Arab country, and he made a ton of money selling oil around the world. Now, he's, he's trading in a commodity, right? He doesn't have to go out and drill that commodity. 
No, his biggest asset was he had good character, good charisma. He had friends in the in the industry, and uh, he he was bilingual, so he could sell oil. All he had to do was get a nice office job, and he started selling oil around the world. This guy made so much money that he would fly in a gold-plated Lamborghini and Range Rover to London three months a year, and then he'd fly his cars back. You know what that costs? Well, let me tell you, someone who's willing to fly their two gold-plated vehicles to a foreign country every year and back is the same kind of guy that would fly into Vegas for a week and blow 50000 at a nightclub the first night he gets there just because it's something to do. They don't give a shit about spending five or $10,000 on a weekend playing their mobile game. It just does, that amount of money doesn't really matter to them. You know, millions of dollars matter to them. Eh, a few 10, 20, 30,000, 100,000, it ain't going to change. That ain't going to pay off their credit card at the end of the month, you know? All right, so we're having technical difficulties here. It looks like the servers are struggling to stay up. Uh, and it is, I think it's game side. It's not YouTube side. So maybe we're back in. We are back in. Let's take a look. Let's call this, let's uh, get this game state. I know Mr. Mike, Mr. Mike, I'm trying, man. I'm trying, trying to get there. Uh, Mr. Mike, blow, oh, 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 oh. You know what? We haven't done that, Mr. Mike. We haven't done any of that yet. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be possible. Let me see if I can get one going. Yeah, I, I don't have Meaty's cam up. I've been working with uh, Psycho I Am uh, to get Meaty's cam, you know, finished and animated and all that. But let's see if this works. Here we go. Mr. Mike, is he still here? It's Mr. Mike's Ark's birthday here. Happy birthday, Mr. Mike. There he is. Right there. Oh, you got a fire there, bud. Turn the sound up, guys. You got to turn that sound up a little bit. Oh, got to zoom out. Don't want to be too close. Oh, I love that explosion. It's a great explosion. All right. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, we did blow up somebody on stream. Okay. That's important. Definitely want to blow people up on stream. That's important. It's a, just part of the channel now. All right. Now, okay. looks like the YouTube live counter is working again. We are at 95, boys. Our ambitions to hit 150 probably aren't going to happen at 5 in the morning. <sighs> okay. Freedom, I see you, man. Um... Let's see, big players are talking about T9 and 10. Super lag when you're from a planet like mine. Big players are getting T6 and not talking. Yeah, Sylvanas King saying big players are just getting into set, uh, Tier 6, Tier 7. Uh, Arc of War is a long-term game. It takes years to get to Tier 9, right? It takes a year to get to Tier 9 uh, or more, right? It takes years to get to Tier 12. And uh, it's, it, it's nice when the developers don't over-push a server so that people can all kind of enjoy the road because... It is kind of a progression game, and if your server gets out of whack and the combat dies off and your biggest players start dominating the server, it does it does ruin the fun a bit in, in some regards, but it also adds a lot of action, so it really depends. If some players will enjoy that, and it adds more to the game for them, and some players, it doesn't. You know, they're more into the farming community aspect, and it takes away from their gameplay when their allies start getting zeroed and they quit. So it's tough, man. It's a war game. It's, uh, there, is no, there is no PvE version of this game where you can turn off PvP. All right, let's see. All right, so let's get caught up on the match. Guys, if you're just joining us, we are in the Season 8 Galactic Battle Finals, FBI versus CAD, the biggest players in the world. I mean, pretty much everyone who's anyone is in this lineup, and they have server migrated to either FBI or CAD. Uh, two of the biggest players in the world, ODAD on FBI side, 2.2 billion power. 2.2 billion. I am struggling to get to 180 million. That player has spent into the millions of dollars, at least a million now. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, TB on the other side, their main player is 1.2 billion power. Uh, even though the top four on FBI are bigger than C TB, the biggest player on CAD, it doesn't change the fact that they have an entire roster, 70, 80 players with tier 12 max leadership comps. I know for sure they have at least 10 tier 12 max leadership comps. Uh, I don't know if, if how many are multiples. I don't know how many are max leadership. I do know that that roster has top 15 on both sides, and the minimum to be on that list is 450 million power, which is the equivalent of 50 to $60,000 invested into this game, invested, poorly spent into this game. Uh, you know, I was thinking about this the other day, is how much money is, is on this battlefield right now? Like, if you had to build every single one of these arcs and play them for two years, like, if you just took everyone's spending, totally ignoring, completely ignoring... All the money they've spent PvPing. People, I never talk about that in ARCs. About the money people spend gold jumping or speed healing or troop healing or other galactic battles past. I just ignore all that. I, I, can't, I can't quantify it. 
but just knowing the math and the items they have and the gear and all that, I would say, uh, and I and I calculate that, but in this battlefield, with this roster, we can get a quick estimate. Shall we do an estimate live on stream? Let's do an estimate live on stream. Just the top 15. Remember, there's 82 players to 86 players per guild, and this is only the top 15 of each. And uh, one of the requirements for being in these guilds is to be tier 12. I don't know if that's 100%. I know that sometimes old grandfather players or officers that keep the guild together, maybe not. Because it's just it's a tremendous amount of money. $20,000, $30,000 is a lot of money. Uh, but on this list alone, it, you, there's just so much estimating involved. Oh, Dad, I know he's a million dollars into this game. Uh, bingo, 1.7. I know he's at least $700,000 into this game. That was like last season. 6-6, six, six, same thing, 600000 Shenlong. 600,000. Uh, hope, at least a half a million. You know, anyone that's 500 million power, it's got to be, and man, and you got to remember the max leadership's comms. We can't even see them, and their leadership doesn't even really come out. You can easily spend $60,000 to get two of your commanders to max leadership, and it doesn't represent in your power. And these guys have 500 million power with max armies. Like, they, they have it. The reason you go from 250 million power to 350 million power is because you're building an, a full army of tier 12. It's almost like, I, I think it's either 120 million or 200 million. For every 120 or 200 million, you have a max army of tier 12. So anyone that's on this list has at least two max armies. And those max armies are $40,000 per slot, and there's six slots, 240,000. They're half a million dollar armies. Two armies, it's half a million. It's, even if they have an entire guild helping them, which they do, uh, I don't. It's just uh, it's too much, guys. I can't do it. I just can't do it. It's just too much. I I just well uh, I just need to I just need time to like sit down and break it all down. But uh, yeah, T eight sucks. Tier, yeah, switching conversations. Tier eight is no good. But let's get back to this matchup. Is FBI coming back? Are they going on the offensive? Are they quitting? Uh, are they going to try and hold their main base? Is FBI even pushing for the main base? C A or C A D C A D may be just vying for time, making FBI realize, uh, making them eat that hard to swallow pill and say, "You guys are great, you're big, but you lost your stronghold. Your strategy wasn't aggressive enough, and now we have your map. So fight all you want, you know, death throws for the next twenty minutes or two hours. Well, your choice. It's your money. Just know that we know that we have you by the balls." We got you on the ropes, boys. And they do. And CAD knows that they need to keep that left and right stronghold. They aren't protecting it as well as they should. FBI can do exactly what CAD did to them. There's plenty of time in this match. It's a six-hour match. FBI could take their four biggest guys, start gold jumping and clearing and, and knocking CAD around, and they could take three guys plus everyone back at home and take that right side stronghold. They could. And they in 30 minutes, we'd be looking at a mirror match. You know, it'd be half a map revealed for FBI, half a map revealed for CAD. Well, three quarters of the map, excuse me. Uh, and then it'd be an even game again. It would just be, we'd be looking at points. Speaking of which, points don't really matter because of that, the, the stronghold's been ex destroyed. But even though, even though CAD has successfully taken a stronghold, they even have a point lead. Usually, when you've taken a stronghold, you sacrifice a bunch of points to get it. But CAD has actually increased their point lead and their base lead. Ooh, it's looking bad for FBI. Ooh, it's looking bad for FBI. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm not feeling great about their chances. Um, and again, though, man, they've got four players bigger than anyone. Uh, the question is, is, can they get on this offense? I just don't think anyone in this guild realizes... That the new meta is to be offensive. You have to be offensive with considering the gravity of each commander in every ship. Normally, when there's 60 or 80 ships on the field, you only have to worry about 5 or 10 of them. But not in this matchup. Every single one of them is an absolute unit. They're a rock, man. And once they plant that commander somewhere, you got to clear it. You can't just go clear any commander with any commander anymore if they're all the same size. When you're triple the size of everyone, yeah, you can just use your Gilly or Vega or Rogers and clear anyone you want. But when everyone has max leadership comms and max gear and max troops, you have to counter correctly. I mean, it's it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, I'm going to jump into their replays now and uh, see what we can get ourselves into. 
All right, so Cad's King King has a good replay. Yum Yum's got a replay. Anubis has a replay. So the problem is it's deceptive. Usually whoever has the most watches is because they're the top of the list, not necessarily because it's the best replay. So let's go ahead and just grab the, the top replay to see what it is. Yeah, one slot bust from Tony. So Yum Yum shared the replay just for the points. Uh, he will. He lost the point battle as far as you know the trade is concerned. Uh, but Yum Yum, uh, but he did. Yum Yum does lose in points, but he does get the winning replay because Stella's one slot busting. So that's why he shared the replay. Not a great replay. He just, eh. Actually, actually, look at that. Yum Yum actually got some great points there. He actually outscored him. Okay, so unlucky for Stella. Good, for, good for Yum Yum. Scored some big points and got a winning replay. So I was wrong. Uh, let's see what King King's got for us. Looks like he's got that new tier 12 airship i don't like that new tier 12 airship on rogers it's definitely for offense uh aggressive commanders it's not I, we thought it'd be for tanking commanders but it's not all right little andromedas on gilly oh wow yeah that's what happens when uh rogers doesn't have a stack of defensive stance you can just get one shot that definitely can happen oh ouch oh and rogers is gonna win this unless he tyrant cometh yeah no nah, he, he made it okay Interesting. Nice gilly, King King. Very nice gilly. Um, we'll go ahead and watch Anubis' Rogers replay. Good morning, Zero. Oh, man. We made it. We made it. The first 20, 30 minutes of the stream was lost to the nether. That sucks. It's stupid YouTube. You know? Unbelievable. The winner of this battle... Guys, i got to remind you guys. The winner of this battle gets this belt. We had the Galactic Battle Season 8 Belt Commission from the patrons and YouTube channel. And... Uh, if the winner is FBI's ODAD, we're going to go interview him. We're going to do an episode of ARCs. We're going to do a live interview. I don't know if he'll agree to it. We've kind of talked about it. Nothing set in stone. If it's TB from CAD, uh, I found out he lives somewhat on my side of the world. So uh, I would go hand present him the belt, the belt presentation ceremony, and do an episode, of, an interview in an episode of ARCs. Uh, so that'll be one of my upcoming awesome expenses for this channel. Uh, but that should be cool. I think a lot of people would like to put a face on the legends. Is it too soon to call them legends? But they really are. I mean, as much as like you know, we don't like these players because they may destroy us on our own servers. The fact is, is they do spend a tremendous amount of money on this game. You know, it's just absurd the amount of money they spend, and they keep the servers open and they do uh, they build these super accounts that we only dream of of having, and they do it with not one commander but all five. You know absolutely wild so fbi still struggling are they really struggling yeah they're struggling to hold this anakin does have his reinhardt in the right stronghold it looks like cad has opted to take the stronghold instead of actually going for the base which i think is probably a smart move um even though it's awfully dense in here i think um cad is slightly more organized and maybe if they're, they're not organized they're definitely more they're tuned in to what the matchup needs. They know what the matchup needs more than CAD or than uh, FBI does. And um, man, Gilly Vega Rogers, Gilly Vega Rogers. Hey, look, Rock. I mean, it's it's um, it's a struggle, man. It's a struggle for these guys because <sighs> FBI has the bigger guns. They're just not doing what's right. They're just not doing what they need to do. To get this game back in control. And FBI is on the left side of the map now. So this is dangerous. CAD has came in and cleared enough FBI ships. Every time you hit one, they get bounced. And they get bounced to the other side of the map. So the more members of CAD that invade FBI's side of the map and take their spots, the less spots FBI has to hide their ships... So if you can get 20 guys from CAD to steal FBI ships in their dark zones, then FBI won't have a place to hide. And the bigs on CAD can speed hit and zero them on this side of the map when they pop up. 50-50 chance you can end up on either side. Um, and you can see FBI has a dozen ships that are not in the protected area. And CAD is picking them off. And people are going to get zeroed. 
And it's like we're at that hour and 20 minute points where people are at work, people are doing things. They might put the phone down for a minute and not realize what's at stake here. Not many people, right? 160 people, though. Some people are bound to make some mistakes and get zeroed. But, I mean, look at this. CAD just absolutely dominating performance. I mean, I don't I don't think their, their particular setup is that good, but they do have enough protection on the front here that if anyone wanted to come in, they'd have to clear them or come around the back. Beautiful on the left-hand side. Right side is revealed, but that's probably because this guy here is clearing him out. I don't know his name because he's only 140. He's only 145 million power. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Greetings, greetings, guys. Welcome, welcome to the live stream. Hey, we hit 100 viewers at 5 a.m. on a freaking Thursday. Hope you guys are at work, being responsible, and not up at five in the morning. Oh my god! Do I sound resent or resentful? It's because I am. It's because I am. All right. Who is this? 684 million power. We got a member of CAD up in here, up in FBI's business, giving him the business. Is that Gone with the Wind? It could be. No, no, it's not Gone with the Wind. 600 and what? Oh, God. It's only 600 million power. It's uh, Wind Cannon Nightshade. Wind Cannon Night Stream. Night Stream? Why does that sound familiar? Night Creek, maybe? Or Moonshadow Star Trace. I love, I love the translations from the the Chinese names to English names. I almost, I almost, I honestly feel like maybe you should just take an English name that you like, like um, Fire of Heaven, right? Just take a name like Fire of Heaven, and then translate it to Chinese, and then translate it back to English, and see what it comes out like, and just start using those as your your names or slogans. Let's try that. Let's try. Um, Let's see. Let's, let's pick a good one. Fire of Heaven. Translated to Chinese. Qin Hao. Yeah, okay. And we'll translate that back to English. Oh, that's awesome! So if you translate Fire... Oh, wait, what was it? Fire Fire of Heaven to Chinese and then Chinese back to English? It's Skyfire. Skyfire. How cool of a name is that? I'm telling you. That's a good avatar name. Skyfire is awesome. I'm actually, that worked out really well. Wasn't expecting it to work out too well. All right, what's another one? All right, let's change. Um, um, blood of your enemies. Blood of your enemies. All right, we're going to change that over to Chinese. And then we're going to change it back to English. Okay, well, that one, that one didn't go so well. It was the same. Okay. Uh, uh, rains it pours. I don't know. I just feel like it's a classic American saying. American. Oh man, it's gonna be bad. All right, let's try this. And back to English. Raining down. When it rains, it pours. Translates back to raining down. That's not bad. That's not bad. Anyway, all right. Enough on that. <laughs> Uh, all right. Autobot Skyfire. Skyfire is a cool name. That's uh, it almost sounds like I don't know Firefly or I don't know. There's plenty of ways to put like you know fires of heaven into different use, but Skyfire is one of the best ways. I love this little vision tower. They're still fighting over these vision towers. TB is holding it too. They 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 do want that vision because having vision of that tower also gives them a little more vision of FBI's side here, and they're already choking them. So. Oh, man. FBI. Guys, if you're listening, if you want to take this game back, the Stronghold has over a half hour, right? Let's see. Let's click on it. Yeah, you guys have the Stronghold. Stop defending the Stronghold. You guys have already lost the, that matchup. It takes them an, uh, a half hour. Is it a half hour? An hour. An hour to take your Stronghold. Don't worry about it. You need to take their Stronghold. You guys are bigger than them. They can't clear you. Go to their side of the map. Take their stronghold. You are bigger than them. You are the bigger dog. It's like when you see like a little chihuahua barking and going crazy in front of like a big Great Dane or a lab's face and the lab like backing down because it's got a good to uh, temperament. It's like, dude, if that dog ever decided to bite you, you're in trouble. It'll bite your face off. If FBI sends their top four just down here to start clearing and hold this base, they would take that stronghold before CAD could take the main base and win the game. 
And in 30 minutes, FBI would be looking at the same half of the map that CAD is looking at, and they'll go, okay, we're back in control. But for whatever reason, they've decided not to do that. Now, in their defense, well, in my defense of my argument, they're losing. So <laughs> I can criticize from the outside in because I'm watching, okay? In their defense... No one really knows how to play this matchup. We've never seen it. We've never seen 80 max leadership tier 12 comms versus 80 max leadership tier 12 comms. And it's not necessarily 80 max leadership. But there is at least 15. And at least uh, everyone else is 500,000 leadership or more. So it's like there is a... This is a different game. This is not the same game. It looks like the same game. It feels like the same game. But for these guys, it is not the same game. You know, all these big guys, the top five guys, they're used to just stomping people stomping people and being afraid of one or two people. But in this matchup, every single one of these guys is big enough to be a boss on your server. And everyone around them can beat them in a matchup. At least 20% of them, 30% of them can clear them. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a different, it's a different world. They're all little chihuahuas. All right. Let's check the timers here. Make sure we don't miss anything. FBI's has their base full. CAD was going for this stronghold. Man, who's this? Munkum. Munkum's trying to clear some space, but they got him locked in. Is that money there? No, that's not money. Oh man, what a mess. This is absolute chaos. It really is chaos. There's you can't see the ships moving around. The individual armies, you see you can see them marching, but you don't know where they're going, what's in them. Yeah, FBI's trying to get the right scout tower. Let's see it. Where is the scout tower? Okay, so CAD has it at the moment. Looks like uh, FBI is trying to clear. What do we have here? God. Is that bingo? Let's see. Let's see if that's bingo. You know what I need to do? No, that's not bingo. Who is that? He's got a max leadership Rogers, and he's not even on my list. Are you kidding me? FBI. Who is that? What, how come that... That is bingo, right? Oh, it is bingo. Sh shut up, Melt. It's stupid. Can't read. Can't read, Melt. Can't read. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, I used to have this awesome screen. So let's see if we can duplicate this. Uh, uh, Todd. Okay. Now. Uh, all right. So there's that. And then that is going to go. I'm going to put the chat box just behind that as well, guys. Sorry. All right. Chat box behind roster. Ta-da. Okay. So that one's locked in play. Now we'll go back to live stream. And we'll knock the roster off. There we go. Okay, so now we have a proper roster screen. Of course, I think my head's in it. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. My head's right in it. That's beautiful. Oh, my God, Mel. Oh, my God. Okay. But, yeah, that was bingo we were looking at. For some reason, I just couldn't put two and two together. Uh... CAD still holding on to their scout tower. Look at this. We got a Lady and Beast. I wonder if he's trying to counter Rogers with that. Lady and Beast is like a weird guaranteed hit skill commander. I really don't like her because her guaranteed hit doesn't crit. Um, like King, you know. Not a big fan. Uh, Dr. James got his Gilly out there. I like that setup with Gilly. Very nice. A little defensive on the bottom there. I don't know if, if uh, the new Tier 12 really play that well. If you mix and match, I feel like... We thought early on uh, it was going to be better to do like the new comms up front for shields and the old comms in the back, but it's kind of the contrary. It feels like if you are going to commit to, if you're going to commit to the new troops, you have to commit your gear as well. You need you need damage, uh, so it changes. You you don't stack that HP gear as much. You you literally just stack damage gear and use huge hits to put shields on yourself and, and don't worry about damage reduction. Um, but you know, that's still, that's still being figured out. You know, that's not something we fully got. Okay. Um, getting caught up, getting caught up. 
Let's see. Check, 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 check. All right. So let's see if FBI is going to get this game together. Let's see if they want the win. I, I guess, like, if I didn't know the players in this guild, if I didn't know the players on this map, I'd probably be a lot more critical of them. And uh, it doesn't come at a cost to me, right? Criticism is free for me. Yeah, people will, like give me shit later. Hey, you're, everyone's listening to you, and you're criticizing us. Yeah, I get I get a little bit of that flack, but I think I think sometimes you just got to say this. And it doesn't look like FBI is trying to win. I think they're confused on what's going on in this matchup. CAD is clearly taking the fight to them and winning. And there's no reason. CAD should be able to win this match. It's not because they're they're a better well-oiled machine. Even if they are, it's not because of that. It's because FBI is just sitting here. They're just sitting here. And you're not going to win this matchup by just sitting here. You need to force them to react to you. And yeah, FBI is getting popped out over here. And it's not too late. They just need to commit and take that base. 30 minutes, they'd have the base. And then they'd be back on even ground. It's not the end of the world. But the other thing to consider is we don't know how well CAD is playing. It could be that members of CAD are just doing a stand-up job. Five players, Max Leadership Comms, Gillies, Vegas, Rogers, whatever, are just speed marching everyone in FBI and keeping ODAD and you know all the big guys busy. If Bingo and 66 and ODAD can't execute their game plan because they're too caught up dealing with the opponent's big players then yeah, that throws a wrench in your plan, which would make sense on, on why this, this is kind of falling apart. But at the end of the day, CAD is sitting on easy street right now. You got guys back here. Look at King King back here. He's just sitting high, 744 million power. He's like, oh yeah, we got the stronghold. No one's bugging me. I'm well behind this, the base here. Let's just see. I'll just keep popping these FBI guys as they pop out. And like, yeah, we'll try and take that base. We'll keep them distracted by trying to take the base. But there's no fear of losing the base, guys. Don't even look at your own base. Look at their stronghold. Oh no. Oh no. It's a It's a learning experience for all of us. It's just a learning experience for all of us. How do you play a matchup like this? I think my early anticipation was right. You just go aggro. You go offensive. And I'm not going to say that that was originally my idea. I'm the one that stood up in front of the camera and said it. But when we played CAD, we were the bigger guild. We had the bigger players. We weren't actually the bigger guild. Uh, but their strategy was was offense. And I thought, oh, that's not a good idea. ODAD's just going to clear them. But they had 10 max leadership comms. I said, well, ODAD's big, but you can't send all of your max leadership comms in one big fight. you got to send them one at a time. And that made me realize that defense was the way, or offense was the way to go because it forced your opponent to answer the problem. So, you know, it, a CAD strategy definitely was great. Normally, the defensive meta make your opponent come to you was the way to go. But it uh, looks like offense is, is now the new king. The new king king. Do we have any good replays? Oh, I was live streaming, Nacho. I was live streaming, but YouTube wasn't accepting my stream key. Unbelievable. Stupid YouTube. Oh, we already watched this one. Hey, Sudo's here. Sudo is a member of CAD. Uh, tell us what's going on, Sudo. What happened? What did we miss? What did we miss that was so obvious? Because it seems like FBI just kind of sat back and let CAD bring the fight to them and didn't realize that even though, yes, they have bigger comms and maybe more bigger players, uh, you know, opportunity goes to the offense. And uh, you guys are easily able to take that stronghold easily i mean it didn't lose it at two minutes left like we normally see in galactic battle finals no you guys held it all the way through very impressive very very impressive all right let's see if we can get another replay in here now remember if you're gonna watch replays guys go over to this side of the map so it doesn't lag you up all right draco thanks for dropping by we'll see you later oh i got a new replay yeah let's see what's going on over here Oh, big rod, big Vega versus little Bra Vega. Oh boy. Oh boy. Donk. And that's that, boys. That's that. Yeah, well, he got some damage back, but not that much. All 
Let's see. Odad's got a replay. Odad versus Letter. Oh. All right. What do you guys got? A, a busted up Full Metal versus a Reinhardt. I got my money on Reinhardt. For, all right, I got my money on Full Metal for sure because he's just gonna debuff Reinhardt's Thorns and heal. He's not gonna. He's not gonna hit that hard. So he doesn't hit very hard. But even with Leo, Jesus. But he needs the Leo for the guaranteed hit, not necessarily the damage. But here comes Full Metal. Start wiping off that those buffs. Got Taurus only hit for three damage. Unbelievable. He's probably rocking pure HP gear. Guaranteed hit gems and pure HP gear. So even though he's hitting with Leo and Taurus, all he cares about is actually landing the hit. Doesn't care about the, the initial melee damage. That's what the old tier 12 does. Oh, man. Where's Reinhardt's guaranteed hits? You have to have guaranteed hit on Reinhardt in order to land that tear space damage. And I know, I know, Reinhardt likes to be a defensive comm. He likes to get hit and heal. Well, that ain't going to work. Oh, there's a Scorpio. There's a Gemini. Okay, he's got it. All right. Scorpio, Gemini's good. I mean, that's all you really have is airships anyway. Interesting. Awakening, Leo. Oh, yeah. Tear space for 280 damage. Wow. All right, here comes that steam cannon. Wipe his heal off. Wipe his heal off. There it is. Reinhardt without a heal or thorns is really bad. <laughs> He did some fair amount of damage, though. I mean, he's still max leadership comm with guaranteed hit gems, so he's still going to do some damage. Full Metal's not that great. But he does remove those buffs. Ooh, Ned's got a replay for us. All right, Pseudo. I don't know about FBI. Okay, so Pseudo replied. Replay. Pseudo, I don't know about FBI, but CID has been planning and sending mails for a week for this match. Everyone knows their part. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think your guys' strategy was... was uh, too hard to figure out right it was it was offense clear you know, gold jump knock people out uh, if there's anyone that's in the way try to find their ship just all out it's it's the, the 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 strategy was do shit don't sit around and wait for people to do stuff to you it's bring the battle to them you know it seems like listen if you join the galactic battle get in there and start hitting people it's like well they're gonna hit me back yeah they're gonna hit you back you better be bigger than them that's what you spend all the money on right you get bigger you get bigger armies you get better gear go hit them don't wait for them to come to you. It's like, oh, but defense, you get first strike, and it's a point game. You want to outscore them. It's like, you do, but not in this match. It's going to end before the points matter, uh, and it's going to it's gonna favor whoever brings the fight, and that's, that's kind of what's going on. It's still going on, and FBI is still in this thing. It does look like maybe a few ships aren't here. No, no, they're here. They're all here. They're all here. No one's left. Still 100% effort on both sides, but... CAD has no contest. They're holding the left side with freaking weenies, man. Weenies and an old golem. Who threw in the old throwback golem in here? Look at this. Oh, okay. It wasn't golem. It was Vega. I thought someone threw in like a, a season one golem with tier nine or something. Do I know anything about tier 13 troops? Um, No, I don't. I have no idea. I know that... Uh, I know that the game's ready for him, though. I know we're ready for Bridge 23. Uh, I, I feel like it's really hard because they're advertising so much to get new players in the game. So to do a huge patch for Bridge 23, it's almost like they don't want to tell all the new players, like, oh, hey, we're unlocking Bridge 23. And they're like, I'm not even looking at Bridge 21 yet. Uh, but yeah, I think the game's ready for it. Uh, I just don't know how long. I don't think there's any urgency, but the off season's coming. Every time there's a big Galactic Battle final, there's like two weeks of dead time, and uh, we get a lot of quitters and uh, migrators. It's going to be migrators this season. Uh, and just like a lot of drama happens between guilds for why they, they didn't win or whose fault it was, and just stupid stuff like that. So there's a lot of changing that happens. Um, it's good to distract the players with a new patch or new gear, new content, whatever they can. It looks like they're rolling out that new gear now. Um, but... No, I don't know if I, I don't, they, they don't tell me if tier 13 is coming. It'll end up just showing up in the news, and I'll go, "What the? F what is this? Do I have to stay up till one o'clock to film a video on this? What is this?" Ah, <sighs> all right. Um, Pseudo said, "Small guys, yeah, we had our part in the beginning. Now we have our new instructions." Yeah, I imagine the new guys. Um, I imagine the new the small guys on CAD are probably just acting as walls. You know, if you get hit, bounce back. If you get hit, heal your troops, bounce back. Uh, but they don't even have to. 
Cad, your job's, or pseudo, your job's too easy. They're not even attacking. I mean, I'm sure they are. You know, you see, every time I look here, there's new new armies around it. But, no, there's Yum Yum. He got in there. But, I don't know. It's like, FBI, if you're going to go for this win, go for that left stronghold now. Otherwise, what are you doing? You're not going to win the point battle. You really don't want to go five more hours doing this. You don't want to do that. Yeah. Wow. Every big spender in our game, every single one of them, battling it out for the belt to be the galactic battle champion. No, it's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of wild, you know? Like, in our game's history, we've never had... All the biggest players in one server for one final battle. It's it's almost like that we're watching a, an MVP or like a Hall of Famer match, because this migration is I wouldn't say so affordable, but it is it is. And we're in, we end up seeing. Oh, sorry, boys. It's uh we end up seeing a totally different strategy, which has kind of been developing over the season, the offensive strategy. But it is crazy how much better. CAD has utilized that strategy. They really have. And they they were my favorite to win it because I feel like when we played them, they had absolute uh, perfect control of what they wanted to do in this game and an understanding of the matchup, and they executed it so well. And even though FBI picked up ODAD, uh, CAD had beaten him before. They know what it took to beat someone bigger than them. And O Odad's not a one-man army. That, that the world, the days of one-man armies ended back in season five. You really need a full guild to do it. And I think the best example of that is the season seven galactic battle. NYC won. NYC won season seven of the galactic battle. Even though guys like Bingo, Sixty Six, Odad, Letter were all in bigger, bigger ships on equally impressive guilds, and NYC was really the underdog. But Gan and his strategy and his active participation and control of his guild led them to victory when maybe they were a huge underdog. So CAD kind of proven the same thing. It's not about the biggest dog in the fight. It's who, who brought the most dogs that are willing to fight. So, yeah. Yeah. When is Satalia going to be available for people who didn't get in the top 80? Um, that's a good question. So Satalia was a gift for getting in the top 80 of Galactic Battle. Uh, we don't know when she's going to be around for the next release Satalia event, but um, usually they do it within six months. Uh, three months, maybe not. Yeah, two to three months. Two to three months seems reasonable. Six months at the most. They want people to have the new commander. They spend a lot of time and money making the commander, designing the skills, implementing the code for the skills, doing the animation. Uh, so they want people to have the commander. They know there's some money to be made there. They just uh, they just take their time. So the players that earned it or paid for it, uh, you know, don't feel like you know they bought something or earned something that was just given away free soon after. So she's coming. I'm gonna check this mail real quick and just get it out of here. Area 17, uh, really Titan, okay, okay, pure crystals, thank you, all right, and, oh, geez, guys, I didn't clear my, I didn't clear all my troops before the stream started, come back, guys, 41, Odad's not even in our guild, and I have 41 legendary gifts, and that's just in the last six hours, what have you guys been buying, Jesus, Wow, Balkis is not in FBI or CAD. 500 million power. He stayed behind. Keb is not there. JDB is not there. Deranged is not there. I'm surprised Deranged didn't go. Seems like something he'd want to do, but I don't know. I mean, it, it's honestly really hard for a lot of players because it's... Galactic Battle, it, it's just it's always at a bad time, it feels like. I don't know. Actually, in the evenings, it's always, that was pretty good. The last two Galactic Battles were in the evening. That was nice. All right. Is FBI going to start attacking that stronghold? Oh, that's right, Army. You're right. Yeah, Balkus, JDB, they helped us get that third place spot. We won yesterday. I wasn't able to help, but uh, yeah, awesome. That's right. We're third place. Hey, hey, hey. We're the kings of bronze. All right. Let's see. So CAD's still holding on. It looks like they're being cautious now. 
and FBI hasn't committed to that stronghold yet. I don't think they're committing to the right stronghold. Oh, they are committing to the right stronghold. Okay, but CAD's still holding it. CAD knows. They're like, whoa, 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 you're using our strategy against us. Stop it. But it, it seems so bizarre once you lose a stronghold to all of a sudden go attack your opponent's stronghold. But no, you lost the coin flip. Your opponents took your stronghold. You need to catch up. Take their stronghold back or quit. Don't just fight in the base till the end of the match because they took a stronghold. They're going to win. I think actually you can win on points still if you hold the strong defend the stronghold, but nobody wants to defend the stronghold for five hours. That is that's just straight up labor. People don't realize this game takes a lot of clicking and takes a long time. Nobody wants to sit here for forty minutes straight clicking on a thing and spending gold to heal your troops, let alone for four hours or six hours. But FBI did move in towards that, and what's weird is they don't have any troops here, so that means they have vision of it up here. So they're holding the vision tower. And they're holding the base. And they better they better reinforce it. Yeah, okay, they got it. Man, you can see the server and the game is really lagging. Like, this is a good example of, like, yes, the game is functional. The live stream function of watching the replay live or watching the players live works. But, like, there's so much input lag and so much delay in the game engine itself that we get all these minor errors. Like, if you go click on this thing, it's like, okay. You click on this. It says, FBI has control. It says, a filthy kid mains in there. Uh, but then you click here, it'll say attacker queue, and it said flare, but it's... Alright, there's full metal. Okay, so that was actually correct. But a second ago, it wasn't correct. Yeah, you get weird issues like this. So full metal's trying to clear. And let's check the timer. I kind of got complacent there. Come on. Oh, it's so hard to click on it. Okay, there we go. So CAD's still holding it. FBI hasn't even cleared it yet to start holding it. But once they do... Once they get their foot in the door, money's Reinhardt, 66 is Rogers. That is not the correct Rogers formation. Someone tell him that is not the correct Rogers formation. I'm sure he's been trying it out in peak and it's been working okay for him, but you're better off you going one troop type or the other. Not to mention those new tier 12 are susceptible to Sui. With a Gilly, who's rocking uh, Virgo. Oh man, she could do some serious damage to that Rogers. Mel, is 75 tier 5 airships can be deployed in war? I don't I don't think so, man. Not not in this war anyway. All right. They have the base. CAD has finally broken and they are holding the base. But that's fine. Let CAD get distracted on the base, especially if they hold it for 10 more minutes. Then they're going to start getting in their mind they're kind of committed to holding the base and that's going to lock up their players. The players that are going to be on CAD side attacking FBI's base aren't going to be able to attack the stronghold as well. So the stronghold battle is only a half hour. The main base battle is one hour. So by the time FBI is done taking this right stronghold, then they can go back and worry about their base, which is a problem if the timer gets too low. But the fact is they have no other choice. Clearing the main base is not the priority. Taking this stronghold is, and CAD knows it. CAD knows it. Look at this. There's a lot of commanders here that aren't max leadership. These guys are pushable. I mean, you look at a 800,000 leadership Rogers and go, oh, that's not a big deal. I mean, it is. It is. But a full metal could easily rock through that. A 500k full metal can go right through those two Rogers, no problem. Some problem. Not not too much problem. But look at CAD, man. They are just sitting on easy street. Just everyone just chilling, hanging out, floating around. Plenty of gaps between them. And then FBI. Their left side's revealed. It looks like, yeah, CAD is still hitting them, still distracted, you know, still messing with them. But CAD has turned their focus to their own stronghold and FBI's base. They're not so interested in clearing the left-hand side. Uh, they have been holding it for two minutes. Could this be? Could CAD hold it for an hour straight? So that's the other part of this strategy is if you're FBI, you have to take your opponent's stronghold to get caught up. If you're CAD, you go... We already got our we already got your stronghold. We don't care if you want to take ours. We're going for your base. So you guys go ahead and waste the next half hour trying to take our stronghold. We're going to hold your base for a half hour and by the time you wake up and smell the roses, uh, there's only going to be 30 minutes left on your base. Now, that could be a CAD strategy to win it, which I do think is a good strategy. Um, I think it's a FBI needs to take the stronghold. That's the best strategy for them. Uh, and once they successfully take that stronghold, they need to clear out all the ships immediately 
pop all these ships, make them move, make CAD realize they don't have any uh, easy territory anymore. At that point, then they have 20 minutes left to clear their own base, which I don't know if they can do, given how powerful the, the CAD lineup is and the new defensive metacoms are. So FBI may need to just focus on their base, otherwise they lose the game. But if they don't take their opponent's stronghold, they also lose the game. So you go, well, maybe they clear their stronghold first and then go after their opponent's side base. And I'm saying stronghold and base too often. Stronghold, okay. Yeah, the base and then the strongholds. The base is the main base. Strongholds are the side bases. Um, it's a tough It's a tough choice. And someone, someone in the higher-ups have to make that call. Someone has to say, all right, we're FBI. We can't commit to taking their stronghold until we clear our base. And then someone's going to go, well, they can send on our base whenever they want. They have vision because they already took our stronghold. And we go... Yes, but there's no point in taking their stronghold if we lose our base in the process. And they say, well, we won't lose our base. Once they, once we take their base, we'll have a half hour. It's like, no, if we take their base and they don't reset it, yes, then we would have a half hour. And then we still have to clear CAD, one of the biggest turtle guilds in the world, who made it all the way here by holding bases. Uh, we're going to have to clear them. Well, we have the biggest guys. We could clear them. We could, but if we don't, we lose the game. You know, it's just a, it's a huge risk. It's a huge risk that you have to take, but that's... That's the risk you have to take because you let them you let them have the upper hand. So now we wait and we watch. And it looks like FBI is going to commit to taking that stronghold. I don't see arrows going in. That concerns me. Oh, no. FBI has abandoned the base. They have abandoned the stronghold. Sorry. They are no longer attacking CAD. They are focusing back on their base. Someone was having an argument and said, it doesn't matter if we take their stronghold if we lose our base in the process. Oh, Cat is committing. Rogers, Full Metal, Rogers, Reinhardt, Elf. Oh, Lord. Elf, Full Metal, Vega, Vega, Rogers. Good lineup here. This is, uh, this is interesting. Wow. Wow. Man. My instinct tells me that FBI got distracted and they're worried about losing the base. And they're focusing all their guns on the base. And that plays into CAD's hand perfectly. All CAD has to do now, they don't even have to keep the vision. They already have the vision because they took the stronghold. They just have to attack, heal, reset, gold jump around here and there, defend themselves from gold jumps here and there. But they're on easy street. FBI, if you do not make CAD change their game plan, their strategy is going to win. They are going to win if you do not change their game plan. They've already proven it by taking the first stronghold. You knew what they were doing and you couldn't clear them took the first base, the, the first stronghold, and you couldn't clear them. They're going to do the same thing to your main base right now, and they have vision of it. If you don't change that strategy, you're going to lose the game. You may as well quit now. Save yourself the money. Maybe if you're enjoying yourself, fine, stick around. But pony up, take your top 10, attack their right side, sit in that stronghold, and give them hell. Ignore your base for the next half hour until you get that stronghold. Let your big players, you have 20 big players that would love to speed hit everyone on their side that gets revealed once you have that, that stronghold. But instead, you're going to get distracted by a never-ending wall of defensive comms. Look at this. Look at this. Rogers, Vega, Gilly. Okay, now this is where it's interesting. Reinhardt, Rogers, Rogers, Elf, Rogers. That takes four full medals to clear. And ain't going to happen. Odad can't send his full medal, completely heal, Send him again, completely heal. Com send him again, completely heal. Four times in a row before they just reset the first two commanders. It's not going to happen, man. Just not enough full medals. Not enough defense clearing comms. It's almost like if your main guild, if your main lineup was to... Yeah, I got it. Okay, if your main idea of your strategy was to go defensive comms, oh, we have a bunch of elves and Reinhardts and, and, and Rogers. It's like, great. Go and take a base. That's what those guys do. They don't counter base pushers. They are the base pushers. But you're using defensive comms against defensive comms when you need to have full medals. Lots of full medals. That's what clears bases. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. A Roger, it's a different concept of clearing a base. But the bottom line is, is if you don't have the full metals to clear their defensive comms, then they probably don't have the full metal to clear your defensive comps. And that's why you must attack. It goes back to that main strategy. Bring the action to them. And it looks like offense is, you know, f victory is favoring the offense. Yeah. Woof. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm not going to jump into the, the line chat and start telling them how to play their galactic battle. That's none of my business, right? You got to remember, there's something else at play here. There's 50 players in FBI that have spent i mean there's 80 players in the fbi but there's 50 players of them that are truly passionate about this game that have spent a hundred thousand or more dollars they are way into this game i have no business going into their line chat and telling them how to play their game it's their game they can do whatever they want with it they know how to play right i mean they're not asking me for coaching no one said mel are you going to come in and help us set up the strategy no not a single person right i'm just a talking head man i'm the analyst i'm the big picture guy i get to look above it all and go this is what I see based off what I know. You know, they might have some grand plan. They might have been sold some snake oil. Someone in their WeChat might have told them, said, guys, I got this new strategy with Reinhardt. Listen, Reinhardt's coming back. Yeah, I know, I know. He can be easily debuffed by full metal and he's totally useless. I mean, he barely beats Rogers and he gets absolutely crushed by full metal. And his other matchups aren't that good. Yes, I know Rogers is better in every scenario than than Reinhardt, but Reinhardt's got a little bit of play here and there. We need to get more Reinhardt's. It's like, no, no, you don't. You need to get more full medals. That's what you need. And now you've got a guild full of defensive comms defending against a guild full of defensive comms, which ain't going to work. It's just not going to work. There's another factor at play here, and that is that when a defensive comm goes the distance, it depends. I, I don't remember. We never figured this out for sure. It was like, Originally, we thought whoever had the most hit points at the end of the match wins. Like, if it was a stalemate, there was too many rounds, the game didn't end right, the game would just declare a winner. Um, first, we thought it was based on how much, who had the total amount of HP left between all the surviving troops. Then we thought it was first strike. I don't remember. I don't remember. I think it has something to do with, like, if you had first strike and you didn't lose... Wait. If you had first strike and you didn't kill your opponent and it was a stalemate, your opponent would win. But if you had first strike and you didn't kill your opponent then you would lose. So it's like you have the first strike advantage. I, I don't know if that's true. I just one of those things. I got to retest it, but it's hard to test it without doing crazy stuff, right? Max leadership comms, you know? Uh, Mel, should we ask seven pirates to make the galactic campaign battle map bigger? Oh, God, no. God, no. I don't want this map bigger. It's slow enough as it is. Bigger map, slower game. Don't want that. I like the pressure. I like the guilds are getting slightly bigger. And that the map is getting slightly smaller. I like that they cut the times in half so that there's a lot more pace and action to the game. Uh, and let's see if FBI is changing their strategy. It looks like CAD still has their right stronghold. CAD still sending to the main base of FBI. Oh, no. Forty-eight minutes. They just don't they just don't have the clearing power. Bingo's full metal, Odad's full metal, Max Rogers, Max Reinhardt, Max Rogers, Elf Rogers. There's just too many big comms in the way, but Cad better get on top of it. This is a huge clearing march from FBI. Bingo's full metal makes it through. These are some serious marches. Cad better send. There's a full metal. Full metals don't stop full metals. Okay, there is a Rogers here he has to deal with. Okay, but Cad, you are uh, you're in trouble. Okay, there's okay, there's TB. Okay, there's the Rogers. There's the Elf. There's the reset. Okay, I was gonna say there was a moment there. There was a shaky moment there. All right, Flat. Thanks for hanging out. We'll catch you later. And enjoy your day. Enjoy the rest of your day. What a way to start the day. Oh man. This I feel like this changes everything. This new style. These new massive super guilds. The difficulty in clearing the defensive comms, the tier 12 meta, I mean, it's just. Is it what we want? I guess that's the real question. Is this what we want in our game? Not that it's our choice, but we used to hate the fact that golems and stellas were just one slot busting everything and it didn't make sense to play a defensive comm. Rogers was great, but it's like not in a server fight. You're just going to you're just going to get picked away at by your shitty enemies. But in a galactic battle, man, Rogers, Elf, Reinhardt. 
really good. Full Metal, good all the way around, but not great against offense comps. You know, it's a, is this what we want? I don't know. I guess this is just what we have. But I will say this, as fast paced as it can seem sometimes, like, oh, one shot, he got one shot. It's like, sometimes you watch a fight and a Full Metal hits a Reinhardt and only kills three out of 1,700. And you go, oh, it's not that out of balance. You know, but it's like, some of the commander skills are extremely just well that you know there there's a balancing that needs to occur the fact that rogers can go completely defense immune the fact that vega's breakdown goes up to 100 percent and can one shot slots the fact that gilly's nonviolent resistant goes to 90 uh and she can ignore like all the base stats of the troops like something's not right there you know Stella can go multiple times and trigger multiple times, but unless you can ignore your opponent's base stats, you're still just going to be getting extra turns, triggering extra gems. You're not going to be blowing anyone out of the water. I don't know. Maybe there's a, a rebalancing of skills needed. I don't know. I mean, th this game is a, is just a theory, right? They just came up with an idea, and they just started building off of it, and they're like, oh, we better balance this, better balance that. And this is the end result of just days and days and months and months and years and years of patching and fixing and adjusting and... We ended up with a really strange game. You've never seen a game like this before. 6v6 combat? Like, what is that? Six slots of troops? Get out of here. Uh, ah, Ridiculous Badger chimes in. Defense ignore skills. Never ignore the base stats. Okay, gotcha. So just research, just um, uh, gear, which is still huge. Absolutely huge. Yeah, if it, if it ignored base stats, then it would be like zero defense, which would have zero damage reduction on a full hit which would one shot anything every time imagine like remember how hard you can hit rangers you can hit rangers with tier 12 and it does like trillions of damage that's because they have no defense what's up badger how you doing man good morning jesus 7 a.m 7 a.m you believe the the freaking devs did this guys freaking a man if it was east coast it'd be a lot more manageable but it's a thursday people work on thursdays people that play this game work on thursdays okay Ay, ay, ay. All right, CAD still holding on to the main base. It looks like FBI might be doing something interesting down here. What are you up to? Oh, yeah, CAD's not letting it go either. They know. They don't want They don't want FBI sneaking in and getting a, a foothold on it. Looks like Ned and Yum Yum are clearing out CAD. They said, if we don't get the vision from the stronghold, we're going to come down and clear you guys out anyway. I don't know if they're looking to zero people to get them off the map. I don't know if they're just looking to knock people out of the main base, try to find them. You know, it's it's hard to remove a Rogers from a main base if you don't have enough full metal. So maybe they're just like, hey, why don't we just go find uh, TB and just see if we can just pop his ship so that pulls his commander out of the main base. <laughs> yeah, it is perfect time for the Chinese players. And it has been really good for the English players as well in the last couple of galactic battles. Look at this. Oh, man. Rogers, 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 Rogers. I mean, it just look at it. Send, send full metal. Oh. Send full metal, send Reinhardt. That's all you can do. Send full metal, send Reinhardt. Clear, clear these guys out. By the time they get there, though, the elves and Vegas are going to pop in. I don't know, man. What's our timer at? 43 minutes. Okay, Hunter says, ha ha, there we go. They did it. They did what? Okay, yeah. Oh, they got vision. Okay, they're pushing towards it. All right, so they are going for the right stronghold now. They got 40 minutes plus on their main base, so they can still do this. They still got to go for that base. I honestly feel like they need to just take this base to distract CAD and to get some... Get some uh, direction back in their guild, their game plan. You know, if their direction right now is just, oh, defend the base from CAD, there's only a few players that can do it. You have an entire guild of people. Take this base with those guys. You got 70 other active players. Take the base. Take the stronghold. Sorry, not the base. Okay, so they were jumping to clear the Rogers. Yeah, could you imagine if someone found a build that stopped f Full Metal from killing Rogers? Oh, God, that'd be terrible. It won't happen, though, because Rogers is completely dependent on his skills. And Full Metal buffs him. And that's why. Man, three Rogers. Hmm. I'm interested to see how well Odad's Full Metal does against TB and Letters Rogers. I know he goes against these guys in peak contests all the time. Uh, 
Sylvanus King. Melt, do you think FBI can still win? Yeah, it could. I don't think they're going to. I just don't think that whoever's in charge of the war room has a, under, has a better grasp of the strategy than who's in charge of CAD's war room. Because, like, it's no secret the strategy here is to ignore the base and go for the stronghold. Any, any dummy that sits here long enough can figure that out. How did CAD get the advantage? They attacked the stronghold. How does FBI get the advantage back? They attack the stronghold. It's pretty obvious. The question is, is CAD knows this. And they're defending it. They're still defending it. And they're successfully defending it. So whoever's in charge of CAD's war room knows how to deal with their main weakness. And that's if they lose at one of those strongholds. And they just stay on top of it. They say, oh, someone's coming to the stronghold. You know, gold hit him or speed hit him, speed hit him, speed hit him. You know, get rid of his vision, get rid of his vision. All right, take out this... Uh, Take out this scout outpost. CAD's got the scout outpost. With with heavy numbers. No one's getting through there. Right? Rogers gets stopped by Reinhardt. Elf has a chop down job, but we get stopped by Full Metal. Gilly does okay against Reinhardt. Does okay against Full Metal. But she'll lose. Gilly will lose to Stella. One of these Stellas. Or this last Reinhardt. So Gilly is probably the best play here. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it's no, it's, there's no one answer. No one guy can solve this problem. You almost need, you honestly need like your, your guys, your biggest players in groups of fives and start spreading out the work that way, that way. So CAD just has a better control of the battlefield, the scout outpost, the stronghold and the base, three major components that they have better control of. And as big and as great of FBI is, they, they are a hodgepodge guild, right? They just came together last week. A lot of them have played together before, but CAD just came off a huge win last week. They know their strategy. They refined it this week. Uh, they just have more experience in their corner and enough big players to make it work for them. Oh, we got Badger chiming in. It's all well and good that Full Metal counters Rogers. However, Rogers counters so many commanders, and Full Metal counters so few commanders that we will never see enough Full Metals as a community. Oh, there's yeah, there's no yeah, no doubt, man. Full Metal is so bad against airship commanders. I mean, he is really good against Rogers. And he's okay against, I mean, he's good against Reinhardt, but not a lot of people are running Reinhardt. And he's okay against Elf, but he still gets, he can still lose. He can still lose to Elves, especially guaranteed hit skill Elves. Um, I don't know. Elf, Elf is a weird matchup for Full Metal, but it's not a great one. And honestly, he's not that very fun of a commander to run because Rogers players know not to full march. Uh, unless, you know, it's a galactic battle. So you only use your full metal in galactic battle, and then if you're a full metal main and you're not max leadership, you're going to run into a Rogers who's bigger than you. You're not going to be able to take him out anyway. So it's like, it's a very sad day as full metal. His one-slot bust is weak, so it's almost funner to just play a one-slot bust commander instead. Like, I'm rocking Gilly now. Have a little, having a bit more fun with it. Make Golem great again? Bro, I'm done with Golem. Get Golem out of here. Uh, I can't do another season of Golem. If they if penetration comes back and Stella and Golem sit on top of the pile for a while, I'd be fun just to, just to, like just to see them get brought back into the mix. But we haven't seen anything defining yet. In the beginning of the battle, everyone was using full metal. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, a lot of these guys have a full metal, right? And they'll use them when needed. It's not a preference thing. Yeah, oh, Dad's getting work done with his full metal. Man, you know that feeling when your body tells you, ah, something's wrong, you might be getting sick. Just had that feeling. I do not want to be sick right now. Good morning, Outlaw. Outlaw coming at you from Indiana. Good morning. Nah, it's nine o'clock. It ain't. It's almost afternoon in Indiana. We've been up since five a.m. I I live streamed for a half hour to an empty room because YouTube changed my freaking live stream thing. What a mess. Game changed the time on me. YouTube changed my key. All the all the problems in the world aren't my fault. Wah wah wah. Listen, we made it. Okay. Listen. Can I just remind everyone? Can I just remind everyone? You're able-bodied and minded that you're able to get on your device today or your computer or whatever. You're watching a video game live stream broadcast. The greatest ships in the entire world 
the highest pinnacle of competition. You're doing it on a Thursday morning from the comfort of wherever the hell you are. Maybe you're at work, maybe you're at home. These are good problems to have. My stream key changed. Eh, at least you can stream, you know? It's like, ah, oh, the game changed the time to 5 a.m. It's like, so what? What, you've never been up at 5 a.m. before? Truth is, is I get up at 5 a.m. probably every weekend just to go golf and stuff. <laughs> so it's not that big of a deal. But on a Thursday, I got to work, man. I got to get, I got I to gotta do other things. I can't play video games. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Where there's a will, there's a way. Does anyone remember that crappy, uh, like, what was it? It was like a real gimmicky documentary of the past. It wasn't a documentary. It was like one of those infomercial things. Like, where there's a will, there's a way. If you put your mind to it. It was like before the secret. It's like you can will anything into existing by just believing. Uh, as silly as that is, I, I believe in a lot of the philosophies of that. I do. I just shut up. Do it. Do it. Shut up. No excuses. You're wasting time talking about why you can't do it. Just do it. You'll figure it out. Do it. Just shut up. Shh. Just do it. Whatever it is. You're spending too much time talking about why you can't do it. Just do it. Okay. Elf is the release com. Oh, Darth Vader. Darth Vader talking about that joke earlier. Okay. Uh, should we jump back in real quick? Well, let's check the timers real quick. Then we're going to look at this event real fast. 35 minutes left. And FBI is still playing right into CAD's game. And is FBI taking this base? That's it. No, they didn't take the base. I don't know. Now they're playing around trying to like jump and clear comms. Guys, you're... You're playing Maverick games. One guy is trying to be the hero. It's like, no. Even three guys trying to be the hero. No. You need to take that base. You know, did they lose the stronghold? Yeah, they lost the vision of the watchtower, so they're not able to send to it without having someone next to it. I don't know, man. I don't know. Now, is Cad? Oh, my God. Cad, all the while, has been distracting FBI by taking their second stronghold. Oh no. Guys, once 15 minutes, there's a 15 minutes timer on the map. What? Why would I check WeChat? <gasps> there is a code. Sylvanas King, we have game codes. Guys, we have free gifts to give out. Compliments of the developers I was just complaining about. Remember how I was just complaining about how the developers changed the time and how sad it is for me and all that? They gave us free codes. Oh my goodness. Let's give one out. Just too bad today they don't have a real commander. Oh, wow. So. Oh, freedom. I got your message on WeChat. Okay. Forgot that was you. I thought you were free lollipop on YouTube. Chatham, I remember. You're Freedom Laxy. So for those of you that are checking chat, Freedom is uh, actually free lollipop from Star. He hosted the Galactic Battle Season 5. He was our guest host on Season 5. Um, season 6, we had Anubis. Season 7, we had Deranged. Season 8, we had Nobody. No one. We have no guest host. Boo. But, um, yeah, F Freedom just sent me over uh, CAD's strategy, their playbook, now that the match is over. And uh, it's a simple playbook, but it's it's effective. It doesn't need to be complicated. You know, Basically, they've assigned two major guys to be in control of the left side, two major guys to be in control of the right side, two major guys to be in control of the base. That's their responsibility. Watch the base, protect it, call in extra reinforcements if you need it. And then there's a handful of other stuff on how to attack and um, that's all it took. That's all it takes, and it's working. And even a, a small plan, uh, a, even a small, well thought out plan that gives everyone some direction is better than no plan at all. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, guys. Guys, if you want free game, free free in game items, just for being a part of the stream, just for being here on YouTube, uh, I'm gonna give out a gift code. I've got. Nine of them left? Eight of them left. I have eight of them left. If you want to enter, I'm going to set up a contest right into YouTube right now. And what's going to happen is, is you are going to have the option to type in exclamation point uh, 
exclamation point. Let me see, what is it called? Let me go back here. Merch, custom, current giveaway, recent events, current giveaway, giveaway history. Redemption code. How do I redo that one? Redemption code. All right, start giveaway. Five minutes. Uh, enabled five minutes permission. Everyone, Arc War Redemption code, advanced. Ticket costs are free. Must Don't have to be a follower. If you're a subscriber, you get a bonus ticket. Non-subscribers still get one. And maximum tickets per users. Uh, you can only enter once. Okay, so the contest is ready. Three, two, one. Five-minute timer has begun. And uh, in order to join, it should you know honestly, it should tell you how to join. It doesn't. It doesn't say how to join. Is it down raffle? I think it's like exclamation point raffle. Is it raffle? Usually they start populating right away. Four minutes left. Arc of War Redemption. No one has successfully entered yet. Okay, why not? Oh yeah, they're all in, okay. It was lagging. Just more lag from this awesome YouTube streaming update. Everyone's getting in, all right. So it's exclamation point raffle, just like everyone else there. Winner gets a free code. Now, I'm gonna say free is always nice, right? We got our foot in the door, we got free redemption codes when that patch came out. Uh, the gifts are not 100,000 gold. The gifts are not a free S commander. The gifts are just, Random assortments, anything from 500 gold to 3,000 gold things. And I know, I know, we all want more, bigger, better, greater things. One day I will get bigger, better, greater things. But for now, this is what we got, and they're free. So we got that going for us. Now, let's not get distracted. The raffle's going on for four more minutes. To remember to join. Uh, jump back into the guild. I'm not even going to try and read those points. It's ridiculous. CAD has the right side base. And 10 minutes left on it. And they're about to lose it. They are about to lose it. You guys, that Gilly's going to give those Rogers some trouble. You guys better reinforce it real quick. Oh, yeah. There they are. Okay. And the Reinhardt followed up. Anakin's Reinhardt. No joke. And the main base. How's the main base doing? 29 minutes left. Oh, man. Cad looking so strong. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Domination. Wow. Wow. Oh God. Is is Streamlabs actually like spamming the stream? Oh my god. Hide user. Should we mods, do you want to hide Streamlabs or is that internal? Yeah, we gotta hide this. That that is annoying. Get out of here. Hide user? Put user in timeout. <laughs> I just put I put Streamlabs in timeout. <laughs> All right, so far, so far, so far, we've got uh, entries, entries, entries. Ah, right there. We've got. Come on. Two minutes, fifteen seconds remain. Total contest entries are. It doesn't actually tell me yet. One, two, three. I'm not going to count that. That's too many. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll find out at the end how many people there was. It'll tell us. But not right now, apparently. Okay. So so we're giving away a game bundle code. A game code. Just just for being in the live stream. Um, also, wasn't there a new bundle? Wasn't there another free bundle? Let's, let's, yeah, who was that? Psycho I Am or someone sent me a... There was a new code. Let me see if I can get that one out real quick. Let me see if that one still works. Freedom's like, oh, I'll, I'll, good luck next season. I'm not going to be playing. Man, you should play. What are you spending all your money on? Come back and play. Come on. It's good times. You know it is. Oh, jeez. Come on. Right, I'm going to go into the line group. There's a new... Uh, oh, there we go. Darth Vader's got it. H-P-M-I-D-A-U-T. H-P-M-I-D-A. It was a Facebook giveaway, was it? Boom. Free stuff. All right. There's a free code for everyone. Hector, Papa, Mike, India, Disney, Alpha, Uniform, Texas. There you go. <laughs> I don't know army numbers. I was, but you know, you could you could figure that out. That works. 
H-P-M-I-D-A-U-T is a free code for everyone. This is not, this is independent of the raffle. This was a Facebook giveaway they did. And then after 3,000 people redeem it, it closes. So this is just free stuff. Here, take free stuff. Go. You know, King Kane, someone hit me up on uh, Patreon the other day. And they're like, yo, man, I got the mug and I got the uh, the inserts and the door hangers. Thank you so much. And uh, what was that smell? What was the smell on the letter? Do you put a do you put something on the letter? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do. I, I, every single letter goes out personalized, right? So I sign them and I, I write them up. Some of them are like very specific. Some of them are more generic, but I do. I have a concoction of a, a, a we'll call it a scent is the wrong word, but I've always liked the idea of a personalized letter having a personalized scent, uh, but no one's no one's ever figured out what it is, right? That's the funny part. No one knows what it is, and I will admit it's intentionally you know secret. I don't want people to know what it is, but it does smell amazing, right? It is awesome. So one day someone will figure it out, and if they tell me if they figured it out, I want to know how they figured it out to make sure they're not guessing. Uh, I'll get a little special prize for them. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Titan. The scent is, is it's delicious. It's, it's wonderful. All right. I think the raffle's closed, guys. The raffle should be closed now. I think it's done. All right, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the raffle live so there's no shenanigans. Okay. There it is. Everyone see it? Yep. All right. Timer's up. Time to pick a winner. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. 40 users total. 84 tickets. Here we go. King Monkey is your winner. Congrats, King Monkey. Wasn't he just talking to? No, King Kane was just talking. King Monkey with the sneaky win there. Well done. Uh, message me on line, melt.aow, and I will give you your redemption code after the live stream, of course. But congratulations. Well done. You, you deserve it, bud. You did it. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yay. I like these little contests. They work out real easily there. Nice little added value. I like that. Maybe we'll end the, the live stream on a, on a release. And uh, it looks like CAD is going for that main base. And FBI, even though FBI is bigger, they cannot clear them fast enough. It's just absurd, you know? It's almost like... The defensive meta has gone too far, and the new tier 12 offense style troops just don't do enough to the new tier to the old tier 12 to make it worth using. They just don't. Yeah, I mean, like I, I have no belief that FBI is going to turn this around because they ran out of time. They didn't take that base, right? CAD still has it. Uh, FBI's right side stronghold, last time I checked, was being taken. Let's see. Come on, come on, right there four minutes left and that's the game boys and girls that's it you know oh whoa i can chat with king monkey hi 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 how do i oh it won't let me sign in that sucks oh it just shows his his reply he said thanks okay cool you're welcome man thanks for being here thanks for being a part of this legendary stream it is, it's, it's actually like, you know, as much as like I really wanted this to be a 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time stream because the majority of our viewers are East Coast, West Coast, you know, North America region, uh, having it at 5 a.m. really messes with the, the reach we have. But the point of the, of, the, of the live stream and the show is to watch the galactic battle with other people. That's always what it's been about. I used to watch these things alone and I'd want to talk to people about it. And the looks my wife would give me, whew, well, they weren't as bad as the looks my dog would give me, but... No, it's a, that's a joke. I don't have a dog. <laughs> that's a joke. I don't have a wife. No, uh, it's just, you know, it, it's good to be do, do it with other people. I would have liked to have done it with a, a bigger group and a wider audience. I think last week we had so much fun. It was like we were on par to hit, like, a huge number. And we really won't have this chance again until, you know, the next playoffs, next Galactic Battle, so two or three months away from now. So in the meantime, we're going to have an off season. So we're going to do some more episodes. Um, we're bringing back... We're, we're keeping Pimp My Arc and Arcs going, but we're going to bring in the remastered series a little more full-time. 
Um, I've been struggling to get remastered videos because some of them just kind of seem like common sense and like I really don't need to redo this. People should just go watch these things because they're full videos. I don't know. I'll, I'll talk about that. Um, but Tuesday Newsday, it's going to be really good coming up. I think there's just going to be a lot of new content and content being figured, new content rolling out, new content getting figured out. Uh, and then replays of the week. I really like the idea of having players submit their best replays to be hosted on the channel. You know, their best kills of the kill event weekend, or their biggest losses, or their best tricks for monster strategy, whatever, whatever you got. Okay. All right. Oh, that's right. Meme review on Friday, of course. Everyone's favorite show. Everyone's favorite show. Meme review is so funny. Meme review is like, as a content creator, and like, I don't know, it, it's weird to call yourself a content creator, because like, that's not what you want to be when you first start making YouTube videos. I mean, I guess everyone has different ones, but when I first started doing it, I wanted to just get content out there, and I wanted to be the voice of Ark of War. I thought, like, I, I know this game. I want to talk to people about this game. When people want to talk about this game, I want them to come and talk to me. I'm the guy, right? So I was putting out a ton of content, and I was trying to really explore the game, and um, I, I totally lost my train of thought because I was watching myself on the live stream. Uh, Nobody wants to be a content creator, right? I, I don't think people want to be a content creator because that's just like a weird thing. Like, I want to make things. It's like, well, okay, but when you say you're a content creator, you want to make things for other people? It's like, well, then uh, there's got to be some selfish element of it, right? you got to make it for, You've got to want an aspect of it. But um, I, I don't know. I'm kind of getting lost in my head here. Point is, if anyone wants to remind me what I was talking about, point is, is that we want to watch it with other people. Right, and uh, having it at 5 a.m. kind of hurts that plan. We won't be able to to beat these numbers till next season, and hopefully the game keeps getting good and keeps getting better. I, I got to admit that this Galactic Battle Season Eight has been amazing. The patches have been absolutely awesome. The peak contest, the 6v6 they gave us, the new items, Bridge 22, Tier 12, the Tier 12 Plus. I mean, new gems. I think new gems. Yeah, new gems. I mean, it's just been jam-packed, super events, 17-day events. Like, it's been crazy good. It's been really good for a mobile game. I mean, it's absurdly good. But, guys, we're coming down to the last stronghold on FBI's size. They weren't able to clear CAD. There's an Elf, a Rogers, another half-size Rogers, pint size, if you will, uh, a decent-sized Gilly, not their max comm, so they pulled out. There's only tw eight seconds. I only need one comm in there anyway. And Eastwood shows up. What's up, Eastwood? All right, an A class weenie. Oh, hello. How's it doing? How's it doing, Eastwood? How's it doing? Okay, so now it is official. The entire map is revealed for CAD, and there's the break. And uh, everyone on FBI's side is revealed. Everyone's going to start quitting now. We should be seeing GGs in the world because it's over. Uh, I mean, it's not officially over, right? FBI still has their base. They may even have a point lead. I don't know at this point. Fact is, is that everyone in CAD is going to be speed hitting everyone in FBI until they quit. You know, don't hit the players bigger than you. You know, if you can't kill them, but they can see everyone now. Everyone, unbelievable. And that means we get to declare a winner. It's not over yet, but it, it may as well be over. Like I said, it's just pretty much over. We got a galactic battle belt. The winner is TB's Guild Cad Queeser. And uh, now we just have to talk him into letting us come to wherever he is and film an interview and do an episode of ARCs. Wouldn't that be cool? How cool would it be to have a sit-down interview? Six minutes. Doesn't need to be too crazy, right? I don't need to know the guy's life story. Why do you play this stupid game? Where did all your money come from? Do you want to tell him, hey, people how much money you've spent? Cool. Let's take a look at your ARC. <laughs> you know, like, I don't want to know the guy's life story. I don't want that out there for the world to see. You know, I, I, I'm a firm believer that one day... A documentary filmmaker is going to come in, a real documentary filmmaker, not some hack job YouTube vice reporter. Uh, they're going to come in and they're going to go, in 2015 to 2020, it was legal for cell phone games to have an unlimited charge amount on pay to win games. And that's going to be like the intro. And then you're just going to start seeing dollar signs. And then you're going to start seeing like Russian steel magnates and like Chinese billionaires and high rises. And you say, the richest players in the world competed in an online digital space on a game called Ark of War, where they have accounts that they've spent well into the million dollars on in just less than three or four years. Real dollars. Millions of dollars. Even though this game only averages 100,000 players a week, unique IDs, this game is grossing, on average, $10,000 per player. 
You know, it's going to be something ridiculous like that. And people are going to realize, like, oh, shit, I used to play that game. I realize how crazy our game is. I do. I realize it. And I'm at the forefront of it. You know? And I've thought about, like, doing my own documentary. But if you guys have been around since the beginning, you know. How's it going, Captain? I haven't. I haven't progressed to the level of video editing and production that I want to after doing this for a year. Um, it may be another year or two years if, if I keep going down that road. I don't have the, the full-blown skills or even equipment to be a documentary filmmaker. I just don't. I don't pretend like I do. I'd rather pay someone who's good at it to do it to do it justice, really, because the channel makes money. That's what the Patreon is for. Patreon puts money into this channel. That builds us swag. That builds us marketing materials. That builds us intros. It builds us quality. And one day, I'd like to get that Patreon big enough where I can actually go to a filmmaker and say, hey, I want the real deal. Uh, I want a proper f- documentary film. I mean here's $40,000, make it happen, right? It's a total lose. We're not going to make money on it. Seven Pirates should pay for it. But that's something I'd like to do, you know? Uh, I'd also like to have, like, some real theme music done. I think it'd be cool if, like, each guild had their own theme music. I don't. I know it's Nando not necessary. Has just donated $2 through Super Chat. Don't forget to equip a helmet. Why are you grilling me, bro? Why are you grilling me in the Galactic Battle Season 8 Grand Final at the end? You know people just skip to the end of the live stream. And they're going to go, what was Nacho talking about? When did Melt forget a, a helmet? And they're going to look back at the last live stream because I'm nice enough to say that, yes, in the last live stream, I got into a decent fight and I wasn't wearing a helmet because I was spending too much time talking about gems and gear. But I did score points. I didn't lose points there, okay? That wasn't my most embarrassing thing. I think it was back-to-back weeks getting hit without defending myself correctly was the most embarrassing. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Captain. Th- appreciate that. Yes, that's right. I did still score points. That's right. All right, CAD's got 15 minutes left on the base, and FBI doesn't seem like they're really committed to clearing it. FBI's still here, um, probably sending out their GGs. One Bobby last Tyson hurrah. Tyson has just donated dollar through Super Chat. Thanks for another great season. Great coverage, Melt. The channel has come so far from last, last season. Thank you very much, Army. Appreciate it, man. Army's one of the original founders of this channel. He's the one that really pushed me to go down this road. Uh, it was all just a dream. It was all a dream. Um, yeah, man. It has come a long way. This this season especially is really noticeable. If you look at my content up until the Season 7 stream, and then look at my content from the Season 8 to now stream, it has gone quite a different uh, d- different production path. We've gone to 1080p. We've gone to 60 hertz. We've gone to green screen. We've gone to intros, proper intros. Um, editing is, is much tighter than it was. I, I, I think there was some editing early on, but now it's actually proper. Uh, we changed costumes, then we changed back. I just don't look good in a white suit. I just I got sick of looking at myself in the white jacket. Not to mention, don't tell anyone, guys, but I've never washed this jacket. I mean, listen, I'm not in here, like, sweating it up, getting it dirty. It doesn't smell. It doesn't have any stains or anything, but, like, it just goes over a clean shirt anyway. It's just a overcoat jacket. <laughs> but the white one has, like, all these stains on it because it's white, you know? It's got, like, a pin mark exactly on the crease. And I'll, I'll show you guys one day. It's so funny. And you can't see it in the videos if unless you're really staring for it because it just looks like a crease. But there's a black pin that just, like, got crushed right into it. I'm like, well, I'm not going to, like, you know, I don't even dry clean it, get ink out of it. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, I might sweat in my hat. I might, it is gross. I know it's gross. It really doesn't smell. It still smells brand new. I'm going to go get some of that um, poultice that I put on the, uh, the personalized letters. I'm going to put it on my jacket. Oh, shit. I'm on a projector. What's up, projector? How's it going? Uh, man, could you imagine if we had to do the live stream in person event at 5 a.m.? Like, they changed the day and the time on us just like that. Everyone that would be flying in had to cancel. Like, yeah, sorry, we're still going to hang out and have dinner and stuff, but the live stream won't happen because Seven Pirates decided all of a sudden they're going to move the final up 12 hours. Jerks. Dude, Nacho, I'm telling you, I think that was one of the better ideas. We should have just rented a movie theater. Now, here's what's great about the movie theaters in California. If you rent a movie theater that has a bar in California, you can have access to the entire venue. You can claim the theater, set up a VIP lounge in front of the theater, get a security guard or two, 
and then your guests that are assigned guests can go in and out of the theater during the live stream or, or uh, banquet or whatever you're doing in the theater room. You don't have to watch a movie, right? I'll just set up a uh, projector and then actually like live stream from the theater. Uh, and then people can go to the bar, people can go smoke and hang out, whatever they want to do, sneak back to their cars and hit their vape pins or whatever they're doing. Um, that's what's really nice about it, you know? And that's something that, that I'd like to do, but it's also like, at what point do you say like, okay, we have 50 people here. Do we really want to host an event in a movie theater? Shouldn't we just actually get a proper like, you know, hall? I don't know. Theater would be pretty sweet though. The other problem to that though is like, if I'm going to be live streaming, I can't be in the theater and have music on in the theater, noise on in the theater, because I'll catch the echo. So people that are watching, um, people that are watching live from the theater, would almost have to be watching my stream screen, like what I'm actually doing live before it goes out to the world. How would I do that? Let me see. There is a way to do that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's just something I haven't tackled yet. I don't want to like be in a different room. But um, let's see. What do we got? Today's Thursday. So we're filming meme review tonight. I guess the live stream will be today's video. And 11 minutes left on the stronghold. Cad's going for the win. Is anyone defending? Yeah, it looks like uh, FBI is still putting up a fight here. They're not done. If the white jacket needs to be washed, doesn't it stand to reason the other jacket needs to be washed? No, because it's not its not dirty because of filth, right? It's not like sweat or oils or anything like human related. It's dirty because of like this pen, okay? Everywhere I go, this notebook and one of these pens goes with me. And sometimes I'll just leave the pen open and hit myself. And one time I hit the white jacket and it was just like, boom pin mark right down the middle and then like i don't know the neck on it's like creased it needs to be like re-ironed i don't know and it's super white man and it messes with the camera so like sometimes you'll be watching the the camera and like it'll turn my face like pale white and then dark orange pale white dark orange and then my teeth will turn yellow and it's just like my teeth are already all like freak freaking messed up because you have to do a chroma key and I just 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 trust me it's 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 not great it's not great trying to adjust your tooth color to freaking the chroma key it's a real thing white does collect everything you see everything all right anyway all right let's get back to this galactic battle and wrap this thing up so people that are clicking to the end knows what's up are you sure cad wants the belt the belt doesn't smell okay the belt first off nothing smells i'm a very clean person in fact i'm very clean what did I say that for? Of course, of course. Why would I say that? Of course everyone's going to be like, oh, this guy's human's filth. This guy's disgusting. Oh, good. Why did I say that? That wasn't very smart. Be careful what you say, people. No, this belt has been in this bag. All right, this is a protecting bag. And it still smells like fresh leather straight off a cow's hide. Like a little bit sour. No, not sour. Not sour. It smells fresh. It smells fresh leather. New car scent. But yeah, this thing has only come out of the bag just for the promo videos and then like the few videos I've done. I don't like take it out at parties and throw it around and like call myself the Galactic Battle Champion. I'm, who would do that? That's stupid. Like pounds three shots of whiskey and throws the Galactic Belt on with the, no shirt on, just the glasses and the hat. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You want to host the party, Ridiculous Badger? Oh, jeez. I, I could see you hosting a good party. I'd be down for that. Although, I got to admit, the first time I read your name, I thought of the character Badger from Breaking Bad. So whenever I see Ridiculous Badger, I always think of that guy. And then I saw him on an interview recently, and I'm like, oh, that's Ridiculous Badger. <laughs> uh... Just wait for meme review, Mel. You gave him so much stuff to make memes. Oh, God, what did I give him? Oh, God. Meme reviews. Uh, I never know. Those meme review guys, they're like a click now. They all talk to each other. They're all intercommunicating. I don't know what I'm in for. All right. So FBI is still hanging on to this thing, still picking a fight. But I'm pretty sure that's it, guys. There ain't no coming back from this. This is GG. So let's do the recap. <sighs> Seven minutes left. 
CAD versus FBI. The first half, first 30 minutes of the live stream was delayed because uh, stream keys. So sorry if you missed that. Basically, CAD came on the offense as expected. The defensive meta is better used offensively. In other words, take your opponent's base and make them move you out. CAD utilized that strategy last week against 888 win, my guild. And they successfully used it against FBI, the super guild that was a, a remainder of a, a collection of the biggest players from around the world who didn't get into the finals, who wanted to join in the last week. Uh, CAD's strategy was superior. They moved in. They took the stronghold. They said, FBI, kick us out or we'll take your base. They took the base and at 48 minutes, I believe. And at that point, they revealed half the map, forced FBI to jump to the other half. Of course, both sides have max players, and it's the final, so everyone was there. So vision is important. They weren't able to hide. So members of FBI were basically forced to stay out in the, in the exposed area, getting hit. All the while, CAD was recouping and keeping an eye on their scout tower and their right side stronghold. At that point, FBI needed to flip the script and go after CAD stronghold, but they didn't. And when they did make the futile attempts, it wasn't fully committed to, and CAD was able to take it back. Uh, when that was going on, CAD was still pushing the main base, and eventually the right side stronghold as well, which is now destroyed. CAD took the left stronghold, or left base, CAD took the right base. Now they're taking the main base with six minutes left to play, and FBI was just unable to unseat the Rogers, Elf, Reinhardt meta of today. Now I won't completely ignore the fact that Gilly, Full Metal, uh, Ryan, or Gilly, Full Metal, Vega, obviously huge players in the game. Stella, not so much. I don't know why she's here. I mean, Stella, Stella with strength and weak and penetration gear is quite good, but we haven't really seen the replay that seals the deal that makes her a must-have. She's not a primary main. Uh, but it looks like CAD just came with a slightly better plan. FBI seemed a little less organized. Maybe they weren't as offensive as they needed to be. They didn't bring the fight. That was really, I think, the story of this game is... They came in almost wanting to play reactively to a guild that had a plan that was favored to the offensive team. They know that if they play this strategy, the offensive team will win. And instead of realizing it halfway through the match, FBI kept trying to counter it. Admirable effort by FBI. But uh, unfortunately, like Season 6, uh, FBI w w used to be more of a one-trick pony. 66 was on his own. Um, but... Um, yeah, they, they were not able to do it. They weren't able to unseat him. And um, despite the great effort, uh, FBI is going to take this loss here, get second place, runner-up. And CAD is going to be our Galactic Battle Season 8 champions, which means we have a belt to award. Thanks and compliments to all the patrons. Uh, the next thing we're going to build for next season, maybe a trophy? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how much money the Patreon thing does. If you haven't joined Patreon and you want one of the Founders Edition mugs, you can do that. 15 bucks a month, you get your own sweet mug and all types of like sweet perks and bonus stuff. Whenever I, Every month I try to put out new Ark of War or Melt content, whether it be door hangers, stickers, and pins, coins, whatever it is. Uh, if you're already a patron and those things get announced, you get them. Don't think that if you join now, you're going to miss out on next month. No, 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 no. If you're a patron, you get it. Uh, so, the sooner you sign up, the better. It's good for me, good for the community, good for the, good for the stuff we make, and then, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, hurry up. We're almost out of these mugs. I literally put one of the last two boxes on my uh, truck yesterday, and I was like, we're getting low. If this box fell off the back of the truck, we'd basically be out of mugs. So uh, what should we do next after the mugs? What do we do after the mugs? That's the one thing. If you don't get the mug, I can't. I'm not, I'm not remaking those. Those are limited edition. Once they're in, they're in. They're done. They're done. Yeah, I saw that Max Leadership Lady and Beast. That was uh, that was pretty cool. I, I I'd like to see some replays. Do we have any replays? Wow, what was his name? How funny uh, how funny it would it be if we actually found the replay? Oh, Rogers versus Rogers. Um, surprisingly, even matchup. I mean, the one on the the, the right's still gonna win, but it's weird. The one on the left is missing a full slot, but he has a few more troops. It's gonna be a stalemate. Hey, wow, that was a nasty stalemate. So we don't know who won that. The stalemate rules. We got to figure that out. Oh my God, more replays rolling out. I wonder if Badger knows. Badger, do you know if um, do you know if uh, what causes a stalemate? Who choose? How's the victor is chosen? It, we thought it was HP base, but then I thought it was first strike base. But I haven't confirmed it in a while. Uh, what actually causes the, uh, the 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 stalemate victor? What what's the trigger? Oh, good hit. That Elfiel, man, serious business. God, good luck. 
Hey, he killed one at least. Nathan Good for him. Nathan has just donated two dollars through super chat. Mel, you do fantastic work. Thank you. Keep it up. Gwen, did I see you leave all the chats yesterday? What were you doing? I saw I saw someone with a Gwen in their name leaving chats yesterday. I thought maybe he has a new account, maybe a new handle. Don't you leave those channels. Station 22 is where it's at, man. Coming down to the last few minutes here, guys, and then we are going to call it. We are going to call the stream. Two minutes, and then we are going to end it. Congratulations, CAD. Remember, guys, the Galactic Battle signups do not happen this weekend. To next week is an off week, and then the following week may be the first week Galactic Battle reopens. Um, there may be another... So usually what happens is all the rewards for Galactic Battle get handed out next Monday, this Monday coming up. Then the following weekend is an off week. It should be an off week. So the next Galactic Battle shouldn't occur on your server uh, until... So it won't be next Monday. It'll go all the way through... At the soonest, Wednesday the 25th for the next battles for your, your home server. Uh, and then at the latest, October 2nd. Pretty sure September 25th is the Wednesday that we start seeing GB come back. All right. Um, Gwyn's quitting. No. Melt, free stuff for watching without the content, please. I don't know what that means. All right, looks like everyone's pushing in. Last minute, it's over. There is uh, over six commanders. That's 60 seconds. There's a minute left. That is the game. GG. Wow. CAD. What a what a finish. What a finish. What a, what an amazing showing, too. we got to remember, you know, when it really comes down to it, uh, CAD is not the bigger guild here, right? Look at FBI's roster. ODAD, 2.2 billion. Bingo, 1.7 billion. 6-6, 1.5 billion. Shenlong, 1.3 billion. Those four players are all bigger than the top three of CAD. All of them. Now, at that point, Hope is 1.1 billion. And then all the top four CADs, five CADs, are all a billion power. So don't overlook that. I mean, that is worth mentioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Odad's 2.2 billion is impressive. But really what you're looking at is five commanders over a billion. Okay. Then you got another five commanders over 600 million and actually in that regard cad is bigger so you know it, it's pretty well balanced but the strategy won the game won the day here and uh that's that so that's it boys it's been an amazing season eight thanks for joining me here i do appreciate it i do appreciate all the donations too it's always nice to get a little something back and uh there's the final explosion the hive cluster exploding uh that's it cad's your winner who would have thought man fbi win i mean unbelievable and you gotta remember fbi was the number one seed so even though we only had two or three upsets in the round of 32 moving forward the final game the final match the grand final the number one seed got upset by the number two seed we did get one more upset this season boys it was a season of few upsets but the big upsets are the ones that count and this is it so congratulations cad now you guys reach out to oh and the battle has concluded and the winner is cad queaser Thank you for watching. Thanks, game. I couldn't have said it better myself. Um, now we just got to get TB on board to do a live interview and an episode of ARCs. So we can uh, deliver him this belt in person and uh, see what he does. See what he's up to. Figure out the man, the myth, the legend that no one knows much about. Everyone knows Bingo, 66, Odad. Those are all popular names. But now the name is TB. Gan put himself big time on the map last season, winning uh, season 7. But... TB, boys. It's the season of TB. That's it. That's it. We're done. That's the live stream. Take that home to your wife. Let her know. I Tell her, you know, honey, I watched that live stream today in Galactic Battle Season 8 Final. I want to tell you about this guy named TB. Runs an amazing guild. MVP. He even got his own sweet championship belt. Amazing guy. Melt's doing an episode of Pimp or Arcs with him soon. Live interview and everything. We just got to talk him into it. All these plans I got, boys. All these plans, you know. Stick around. We'll see you. I'm a doer, man. You guys sit around here. You guys keep watching these videos, and I'll just, I'll just keep doing stuff. You know me. I'm busy. I'm a busy guy, man. I'm a busy guy. I don't know. This guy probably, probably got a million dollars into his account. Doesn't want some jerk on YouTube coming over to him to start judging him and filming him and trying to figure him out. He's, <laughs> he's probably just gonna ignore me. Ah, all right. That's it.
That's it. Guys, have a great day. It's Thursday. Meme reviews tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.